Hello and welcome to Garblag Games. This is Dark Heresy 1st Edition and we are on the edge of the Emperor's Light. Hello and welcome back to episode 7 <coughs> of Dark Heresy on the edge of the Emperor's Light. Uh, Before... When we start, we'll go around and actually remember to introduce everyone this week. <laughs> we were so keen last time. Yeah. However, before we start, we've got a couple of messages from the... Uh, Overlord. From the Overlord of Garblag. <laughs> Please do remember, to, if you enjoy, to ch to like, comment, subscribe. like, comment, subscribe. Take a look at all of the various Garblag games' um, social media. There's plenty out there. There's Twitter, lots of uh, Patreon, Discord, yeah, Redbubble. It's not a... well. That's yeah. if you want to buy cool things, stuff, things and stuff. Yeah, all the links will Go, be down there. Yeah, somewhere. have a look at all the links below. Ask see what order. see what else is going on. Of course, there's the other games that are running. Uh, Star Trek Morpheus has just finished, mm -hmm. I believe. They've just had their finale, so new games are, will be starting. There's all the one shots that have been happening recently. Mm -hmm. yeah, Mothership and Best Left Buried. Yep, and of course there are still the uh, the systems that are still running. There's Scion, uh, Lost of Chance. Chance. We've got and the return of, of and of course the return, <laughs> the important one, the one that everyone is looking forward to, is of course the return this week of season three of Flint and Steel, which everyone is looking forward to. And I believe we've got a special event happening for the beginning of. Yes, that. I forget. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a giveaway. Although I'm not sure when this airs, but if it's Thursday. If you haven't seen, if there's a live stream going on, watch that now. <laughs> <laughs> there's a live stream on Thursday. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's going to be where the winner is drawn of the competition. They're giving away for the starter set. Free starter, starter set. set. There's also one for Star Trek, uh, Star Wars, I think. Yep. I'm which sure is... people put a link yep. somewhere down there. Yeah, which is also coming soon as well. Coming soon. And all the details will be on the Facebook yep. general page of everything. Yeah. And probably the Twitter probably. is generally yeah. around. So. Without further ado, I'm Lawrence, I'm your GM for tonight, and starting on my left we have... Oh, I'm back here, so I go first again. Uh, um, I am John, I'm playing Griff, and I am an Imperial Guardsman, and I was shot today. <laughs> Sorry, that was yesterday. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's still <laughs> today. It is today, isn't it? Uh, I'm Mark, I'm playing Bug, and I'm a Tech Priest. Sam, playing Gover, who is scum. I was also shot today. <laughs> Yes. Uh, hi, I'm Roger, I'm playing Lex, and I am an arbitrator. I'm Liam, and I'm playing Gaius, the cleric. You are sleepy. <laughs> yes. So, uh, last time, of course, uh, you all had an unfortunate run-in with the local Enforcer Precinct. Slightly more unfortunate for some than others. Um, if you're not sure, just take a look at the title from the last episode. That will tell you most of what you need to know. So, you all... Apart from Bug, return back to the safe your house. safe house base to rest, recuperate, and Eat. get some food. <laughs> yes, food, medical attention. Food, some additional medical attention. I would like and, additional medical attention. And take a break, and also to wait out for some of the information you're hoping to receive back from the Arbites and the Administratum that you sent off requests for. Oh, yeah, because you hitched a lift with our Magos friend, didn't you? I did. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you you were just getting back to the the tech the tech temple mm -hmm. with the the Magos when he dropped a you very interesting piece of information <laughs> that his um, his mentor uh, Magos Gelt had uh, come to a rather unfortunate end, being shot by a combat servitor on the orders of a Forge World, the head of a Forge World. Mm. So um, that's where we left it. So. Yeah. Before we start seeing what the Magos, else the Magos has to say, the rest of you get a, a few hours to rest and recuperate. And if you're injured, oh, thank God. to heal slightly. <laughs> thank you. So, God Emperor. Oh, do we lose our wounds now? You um, get some food and something to well, drink. You need medical attention. Deal with medical attention. Oh, what? It's not D&D, &D, John. Oh. I don't also heal. Grimdark, you do. You, you do. You get like one, I think. You I will. Pencil, even from the basic uh, additional medical facilities that they have there, 
you can re you can each regain you can each regain two wounds and more concerted medical attention can give you more. I have a pencil. <laughs> no, I haven't got one. It's oh. in my bag under the Thank table. Mm. Still nearly dead. <laughs> well, perhaps some of you who have skills in Medicaid should use them. <laughs> yes. Or I can hit you with a stun baton. <laughs> Do you have skills in Medicaid? I've got a stun baton. Well, I can't help you. Because <laughs> I don't have any skills in Medicaid. I do, but I'm not there. So. I have no skills in Medicaid. I do, but you're all really rude to me, so... <laughs> well, you are scum. Right then. No, no. Oh, you're you're rude to Sam, staff. not Galva. <laughs> yeah, you all manage to take some, time, some downtime and recover. Gaius, after a, what, a sort of an hour or so after you get back, you come round having been unfortunately unconscious for a large amount of the previous um, events, after witnessing the, the miracle that was Griff's survival, um, uh, which seems to have um, sort of um, stunned you slightly. I'm pretty sure that the Emperor's light flowed through me and saved his life. <laughs> and that is what drained my energy. Sounds legit. Yep. Quite possibly. But you, uh, you, you wake up. You find yourself quite hungry, um, um, and a little bit, a little bit confused about what's happened. The last thing you remember is a is a sort of a glow that's sort of on around the edge of your vision as you pass out. Um, but beyond that, it's, you wake up. You, f- you feel quite well, mm-hmm. just a little bit tired and quite hungry. But other than that, none the worse for wear. So, Bug. Mm. You deplane with the Magos from his... um, His... Vehicle. His vehicle, yeah. (laughs) Interesting vehicle. Um, And he... He he sort of... He's he's still talking sort of fairly non-stop about various (laughs) things uh, as you disembark and head into the um, head into the temple okay he, he leads you into a um, into what is quite obviously a, a lift which takes you down from the roof where he's landed to a um, into the sort of central that central uh, sort of temple space within this shrine okay. um, it opens out into sort of you can see that one of the sort of part of the wall sort of slides away, so it's not obvious that it's there. And you enter out into it, and as you step out, there's that that very strong smell of sort of sweet machine oil and incense, which sort of after the events of the day is is quite calming. Mm. It's something sort of you. It's back to something you recognise and something that's been part of your life for a long time. It's quite relaxing, and. You sort of, as he he leads you sort of across the floor towards the the workshop where you were earlier in the day, um, it opens for him and he sort of bustles in and starts switching on equipment and um, taking things. And sort of in the mid center, there's sort of various stations of diagnostic equipment, and he lays this what you took out of the creature mm. onto it and sort of and starts tapping away and he's gone quiet sort of for the first time there's an, the only sound he's is a sort of what sounds like a like a sub vocalized prayer or chant to the spirits of the machines okay and he starts tapping away and he's sort of busy for maybe 5 minutes sort of playing with the various bits of machine. And you can tell it's all very high-quality diagnostic equipment. Mm. Um, higher quality than you've generally seen through most of your service. So this obviously... this temp- For where it's for it's, where it's located, it's very well equipped. You wouldn't ex- normally expect to see such high-quality equipment outside of the major mechanical mechanical shrine on a world. And he's got it in this tiny little one in a low down dome in the centre of a lower levels of a hive. 
delicious. But he, he taps right in there, and after a while, he sort of there's a sort of silence and a sort of exclamation in binary, which is sweet balls. Probably not. <laughs> not quite. Um, but Ryan. it's short and pithy and surprisingly biological. Recast. <laughs> so it could be sweet balls. <laughs> Um, and he he sort of turns to you, and goes, "Well, this is this is most most unusual. I would like I would like you say you found this in a creature in that in the that building. This is almost unheard of. This piece is not just like my uh, mentors. It is his. It is undoubtedly his. It was created by him." It has all of the hallmarks of his work, and I've managed to find the his standard binaric uh, manufacturing code with on m- numerous parts. Is it possible this could be a forgery? If it is, it is incredibly high quality. I know his work very well. I helped him manufacture such items when we were when he was teaching me. This is most definitely his. I have not seen one of these in. Ooh. Over a century. Is it possible that it was made prior to his death? Undoubtedly, I. All of his, however, all of his research and most of his equipment was that wasn't already scattered and in use was all impounded when uh, after his unfortunate demise. As far as I know, it was secured in the vaults of the hive world he was working on and is still at at this time sequestered. I've made requests to access certain information that I was part of and therefore have right to, but apparently it is uh, too sensitive a data to have outside of a secure vault. Do you know the location of this vault? Oh, well, yes, it's the... um, it's the Forge World of... Uh, oh, yes, it's the Forge World of... Uh, oh, what is it called? Dragon's Light, I believe. Um, a highly fanciful name for a Forge World, I always thought. <laughs> OK. Uh, how, how long would something like this live for well, after it had been... It's a largely mecha- it's completely mechanical. So so long as it had some form of power source, it would run until the power source ran out. And the, the neural tissue within it? Oh, that's obviously new. These were designed to be grafted onto a creature. Ah, okay. So, so it's not significant that this has only just turned up now. It's it's highly unusual that it is to find someone even with the skill to graft it is a particularly high level of skill. I only perfected the technique of such grafting after my mentor had died. Okay. It's, 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 I mean, such things were given or were accessible. It's not that everything, he, all of such things he made were impounded. There were some which were given as uh, gifts to certain other magos. Um, there were some that were given for approval to certain authorities for the possibility of manufacture on a wider scale if they were approved. Um, of course, such approval processes take a very long time. Um, and none of them have yet come to fruition, but it would be possible for for someone to have ho- to have one of these made by him, but to discover it on a world such as this, in a some form of underworld sort of some sort of underworld connection is almost unheard of. Mm. I will have to see if I can trace where this particular one was given. Or... Perhaps the data storage we removed from the warehouse may shed some light on the issue. Oh yes, of course. Do you the, the data storage device? Where is it? Did you did you have it somewhere or did you? Ah, yes. 
Yes, I'm yes, here it is. A mechandrite sort of curls over his shoulder and sort of holds it in front of his face. <laughs> it's kind of, ah, yes, yes, there it is. Um, <laughs> he sort of, he, he hovers over to a different one and you can see that he's left some sort of system or program running on this this other item and he's gone over to another system and sort of, it, this, this, it very quickly plugs it in and starts reading it starts reading and you can you can hear the machines start to wake up you can hear the click and whir of cogs you can hear the buzz of power uh, conduits running you can even hear a gentle hum which you associate with plasma flow suggesting that there are a plasma generator of some description has kicked in somewhere in nearby and is feeding quite a large amount of uh, plasma energy through something nearby, mm-hmm. suggesting that whatever's happening has got a fairly high power requirement. Mm. Okay. Um, but he brings up the data storage and starts running through it. Um, and, he sort of, and he's sort of muttering to himself about areas he can't access. And then he sort of turns to you, you said that you had some, you managed to gain some level of access to this device. Could you show me the areas in which you gained access? And we'll see if we can open this and lay its secrets bare. Okay, so I'll move over to a, to a terminal and start. Yep. Uh, can you give me a... Start with a standard tech use test. Uh... Nice. Pass that by... Rust. Four degrees. Oh, brilliant. Tasty. In which case, can you then give me a... Can you give me a common law tech test, unless you've got anything to do with cryptography or similar? I don't think I have. No. No. Uh, no. Uh, so what? Sorry. What was it? Te- common, uh, law common law tech. tech. Common so law that's tech. just a normal. But uh, you get plus twenty huh? from the uh, from the previous roll. Oh, just as well. <laughs> uh, Fifty. So I'd be a pass by no degrees. <laughs> just passed. Yeah. You 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 sort of log in and you you start to move through the the sort of storage marking things you've got access to and um, suggesting paths like things that you looked at to try and unlock and decrypt things and the Magos seems to start introducing programs that are designed to break ciphers and security and you can see areas start to unlock and open and you you start to sort of work in concert with him quite effectively to open up the security because it turns out while it's quite high level it's still fairly standard imperial codes or coding it's something that you can it's there's nothing unusual within it so it once you have access to something with high enough level or designed to break it it starts to unravel quite quickly okay, and you nice. start to get access to the deeper parts the more secure parts of this information right. but it's going to take a little while for, for both of you to start to absorb all that information as it starts to appear. Mm. But it does become quite obvious, even from the early bits, that those two cryotubes were brought to this world. You find a manifest that suggests they were brought to this world by a uh, a trading line, a shipping line, that is, uh, mo- that is largely owned by uh, two or three of the uh, noble families that in the, of this world, some of the major noble families, um, and they were shipped in from an off-world location. It has no... Um, it doesn't give a name, it doesn't give times. The only th- information on the manifest that was issued was a authorization code from the Imperial Navy and the fact that the 
uh, transfer to that shipping line was made at a set of coordinates. But doesn't specify what they were. No, it just gives you a set of coordinates. But it is definitely a spatial set of coordinates. <laughs> so it was a, somebody met someone in open space. It could be a it could be a planet, but or oh, oh, it could course. be open space. It could be yeah space Hulk. So we know that it's not on the planet from on the planet. Basically, it's all yeah. we know, isn't it? So we know that it came from off world. We know the shipping uh, uh, company mm. that. Brought it on it world. Brought it on, and we know that it was authorised by the Imperial Navy. Or at least one end of the chain seems to have a can Navy we, authorization. Can we verify the authorization code and ensure that it actually is legit? Well, it's uh, an old code, but it does check out. <laughs> it'll take a little bit of time, but it is possible you could probably check that, that it is. Okay. The other thing as well is the receiver is also not a, a na- person's name or a location. It is simply a... Um, it's simply a company authorization by the shipping company for storage, which suggests that this was delivered into the shipping company's company own storage facility. Let's check those guys out then, don't we? Yeah. Okay. So, while you're continuing to work, mm. the rest of you have... Obviously, you have some chance to rest, relax... Uh, if anyone's willing to give Griff any medical attention, they can. Otherwise... Well, I did. <laughs> Form self-surgery. <laughs> Don't have Medicaid or I would help. Neither do I. Neither do I. <laughs> You're not dead. Don't touch this. <laughs> Okie dokie. Done. <laughs> I'm like 80-something. <laughs> Do not touch it. Are there like, med- are there like medikits here that would assist in... <laughs> yeah. No, but we don't know how to use them, do we? Well, if Galva's trying to treat him, I will hand her a medikit, but <laughs> I won't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh. She's already sent. <laughs> don't touch it. Okay. You gain one more wound back. Way! Okay. By not touching it. I'm alive! Good job! Um, I'm getting there. Who else? Who else what about you? Everyone so you don't look oh, in a good way. Uh-huh. Most of this is his... <laughs> Most of what is what? This. The, the blood. <laughs> yes. I don't want to put it back in. Back. I'll just kind of shrug and go put some recaf on. I'm assuming there is recaf in here. Yes. Or someone's <laughs> getting shot. Guys, it's all right, it right? Is a fully stopped. Guys, after an hour or so, scratches. he well, comes round. But he... but from the bats, I think. Yeah. We should probably have some recaf then. Or, if we've got anything a bit stronger. Yeah. Have a sec. I will take that as well. Yep, there is definitely... Bit of Amasek in the recap. In the recap. Oh, that's a guard specialty, that is. Also not dead. It's fine. <laughs> Fair enough. Glad we have you here. It's a couple of hours. <laughs> Helping. Later, you manage... If you if you want to take any actual get any sleep, you do. Um, yeah, after about bit, yeah. four hours, you haven't yet heard anything back from Bug, but... You can only assume he's dead. Probably not dead. <laughs> he's a tech priest. He went. It is reasonable to assume you. You've been around him long enough to know that tech priests have he was tendency. Playing with toys. Yeah. Time isn't a thing. You know. Yeah. So we was late today. Tech priests have a tendency to get um, tunnel vision yep. at times, especially when it comes to unusual pieces of technology. Of course, so when he's ready. It's not all that unusual. However, you do. Um, you do get a. Uh, a Vox message come through mm-hmm. the system um, with an identifier which is the local Arbites precinct. On Sorry. It. <laughs> uh-huh. This is Lex, go ahead. Good, uh, good morning, sir. I am routing the preliminary report from this morning through to you for your information. Uh, this includes uh, what uh, what background we have on the um, the beast trader group that we believe that we believe made use of the um, what made use of the uh, location from this morning. We have managed to gain we have managed to um, gain some information from Enforcer Central, which may be of interest to you. I am forwarding that as well. My 
commander has asked me to assure you that if you require any further help from us, it will be given without delay. She has also informed me of the additional status that you carry, and I wish to make it uh, clear that uh, any harm it, that your team took was unintentional, and we now recognise um, contrary to the Emperor's plan. We hope that you will... Uh, we hope that this misunderstanding will pass. Who's this guy talking? Hi. Uh, it's the sergeant from this morning. The, the, it's the head of the, the precinct from this morning. Oh, the guy that I patted on the shoulder and like gave him a little... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, OK. Um, well, you can tell your commander that uh, I've not been impressed with what she does. Uh, if she does not cooperate, she will understand what we do. We do. I I understand. I will I will relay I will relay that on. Um, please stand by for a transfer of um, for data transfer. If anything else comes through, Sergeant, uh, come di- come back directly to us. Of course. I will. Um, I will ensure that you are kept fully apprised once the final, um, once the reports are prepared. Um, the Medicaid mortress is working on the autopsies uh, of the uh, creatures you dealt with, along with um, a selected number of the bodies recovered from site. If anything is technological in nature, please provide it to us. We we have our own ways of investigating. Of course, that is understood. Um, I will make sure that it, any technological uh, equipment or data is um, seconded for your for storage until you are ready for it. There is also a Magos biologist located down here. Any, yes. Any biological data you have, please forward it to him. Our, we have an asset working with him. Understood. Uh, I will ensure that uh, I will ensure that everyone is aware of how you wish any uh, information to be disposed. Carry on, Sergeant. Very good. Data transfer will be with. Data will be tran- We'll be beginning the data transfer shortly. Uh, please uh, prepare for. Please prepare to receive. And the Vox line cut. Sort of the, his voice cuts, but the connection is open. Is open. Sounds like a modem. All right. Uh, once the data starts coming through, I'll just kind of wait for it to finish, and then when it has, I'll go data received. Lex out. Fair enough. The data takes two or three minutes to, yeah, to yeah, fully I'm come through. It's quite a large file. There's there's a reasonable amount of information. Um, if nothing else, they forwarded you everything they have, whether it's solid, suppositional, everything. Um, as it's coming through, I will try and sort it. it it's relatively sorted via standard in standard, uh, in a fairly standard format for okay. Arbytes and Enforcers. So it might be a little bit unusual to someone who worked in other branches of the Imperium, but to you it's... Kind of in how I would expect it. Yeah, it's a fairly... Right. Well, expected. if there's like religious stuff, I'll kind of put that to one, you know, one yeah. side on a slate and... There's kind of military stuff, again, that kind of to one side. And if there's anything to do with, you know, animals and <laughs> particularly scummy areas of society, <laughs> that might go to another. Fair enough. You, you sort, you can sort... I'm basically the... sorting it into our specialties. Fair enough. It, it takes you 20 minutes, half an hour probably, to just to, to work through the files and make sure what's in them is useful and what is worth keeping, what is worth disseminating and getting other people to look at. Me and guys are playing regicide in the corner while this is going. <laughs> I'm telling him about how I saved him through the Emperor's <laughs> will. And I'm trying to checkmate his king. <laughs> <laughs> really annoying. <laughs> I'm going to go for a walk. Oh god, don't do that! No. <laughs> don't go far, we've got information to go through. Yeah, I want to find some way on. Fair enough. You, um, you can sort of head out. It's sort of... It's sort of mid. It's the sort of the equivalent of midday, sort of coming up to. For reference, I will wash all the blood off first. Yes, <laughs> I'm assuming that you've all had a chance to oh, clean yeah, and wash. And... 
Yeah, repairs. Not so much, just the blood. Yeah. You know. One of these days we need to take a hose pipe to her. <laughs> <laughs> Griff, you you can take if you want. You can take a look at the um, the damage to your. Don't touch it. Plate. I've got a new plate though, haven't I? <laughs> you, they, uh, no, they they, they repaired it, but it was more of a a battlefield repair. Something so you could put it back on and be sure that the, any damage wouldn't sort of exacerbate it. It's polyfiller. Effectively, not it, far off. It's effectively, yeah, ceramite polyfiller. Ceramite paste, yep. Well, it won't stop a bolter, but it'll do. <laughs> but it, it may well be possible. There's a certain level of equipment here for, like, weapon and armor maintenance. It may be possible to make it a little bit better if you wish to. I have no tech skills, so I don't I'd be able to do anything. Fair enough. Oh, fair enough. At which point, yeah, you, you you check it over, go, yeah, looks good. Stencil a little quiller on where I was shot and put it back on. Fair enough. So, you're having a look through the information. There's basically... Yeah, I mean, once it's kind of been sorted into slightly smaller chunks, I'll have, well, hand it to these two, seeing as Gal yeah. gone. See if they... So you get... You basically get what you would look at and think of as a briefing data slate. Nice. Um, it depends on how much scholarly work you've done. Oh, I'm a trade copyist and I'm literate. Oh, so at least you can read it. That's a start. Okay. I can write as well. I'm also literate. <laughs> In fancy big letters. <laughs> yes. But yeah, you can... Um, if, I'm very literate. If you want, you can start having a look through the, the information. I'm assuming that Galva wants to slip out and see if she can make yeah, she contact. she was buggering off, so... So... Well, you know, there was that suspicious but potentially useful-looking chap that mm-hmm. I saw earlier yesterday. Yeah. That kind of gave me a nod and a... Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'll go out and see if I can either spot him or one of his mates. Fair enough. Uh, she wants to walk perception me. check. Mm, not quite... Not quite. You wander. You have a wander around the local area. Oh, that would have not been good either. It's fairly busy. It, it is fairly busy. There's quite a bit of foot traffic, and you're sort of keeping an eye out. But it seems that the places you saw people yesterday, they've got people who've moved. Mm-hmm. Um, you wander for sort of half an hour, mm-hmm. forty minutes, and you're sort of you're starting to loop round back towards the towards mm-hmm. the safe house by yep. this point when you feel someone sort of brush against you there's lots of people around so you're quite used mm-hmm. to people moving yeah, yeah. past you but someone doesn't just brush past that actually sort of jogs a your of a shoulder shelf. a bit of a shoulder barge mm-hmm. um which sort of spins you round you don't see the person mm. but you feel something drop into a pocket or a pouch mm-hmm. on your body and it's sort of you look around, and there's sort of people are moving. You're the sort of you're kind of where you're the only person who's currently stationary, mm-hmm. but you can't see. The only impression you got was of a probably male figure, mm-hmm. reasonably reasonably tall, fairly heavily built, but that's literally it. it were yep. local. This clothing was definitely local. Beyond that, mm-hmm. nothing to stand out. I will keep moving, slip into like a side out of the way. Yeah. So not in the main street, mm. and then maybe take a look. You find a little scroll of mm-hmm. um, paper, parchment. It's basically probably the the cheap local yep. paper. Hey, it's paper. That's yeah. a thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, with a simple message scribbled on it, mm-hmm. which simply says, um, The beasts have been tamed. If you want to know where their lair is, be at the following tonight. Mm-hmm. Cool. And then a it's uh, what looks like a, a local address. Mm-hmm. Good. That'll do. I shall continue my stroll and then kind of wind on back to mm-hmm. where I came from. Fair enough. I might stop and get some snacks on the way. 
Yeah, you can, there's there's plenty of local food vendors. It seems to be coming up to a shift change, so there seem to be mm -hmm. more of them about. Yeah. And then just head yeah. Back. So, Bug, you're back at the tech. Mm -hmm. Back at the the shrine. You've been you sort of surfaced from the data to realise that probably about three hours have gone past by this point. Sort of immersed in the, this sort of flow of information. Standard. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of information in there, and there's quite a bit that is... A lot of the... As it starts to break up and you start to get into the deeper bits, you find that a lot of the information is medical-type data on... It, stays, it seems to be medical data of experimentation on creatures and um, often non not just not the not just um, sort of non terrestrial so not this world's life but actual Zeno Zeno's life forms mm. okay um, all of them sort of animal level. Um, but there are certainly there's hints of in, interest in slightly higher or slightly more dangerous hmm. forms of Xenos life within from mm. um, sort of other parts of the Imperium and other parts of this this sector. Um, but most of it seems to be stored data on whatever this creature that was in the cryotube was it's only it's basically just got a designation it's just a like a code designation YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no it is just a, it's just a numeric string um which okay. you think might be what was stenciled on the might have been one of the markings on the, mm. the tube so this thing was made um, yes. but it's basically it, the designation um, the information that's there is quite there doesn't seem to be as though they spent much time analysing it, It's most of it seems to just be constantly collecting information in mm. no one seems to have run a lot of or spent a lot of time analysing the data to try and Make work sense out, of it. make sense mm. of mm. this, or work out what this creature is, because it doesn't seem there doesn't seem to be anything on what it actually is. The only sort of the only bits that it has, it has a basic biological s description, which it gives as a creature around seven and a half foot in length, six limbed, clawed. And that's basically it. Beyond that, there's lots of data input, but not a lot else. Okay. The, also, Is that analysis that we can do? There, there's plenty of data there, and you have access to what appear to be quite powerful data processing. So you probably could ask the Magos to set something running. To He's certainly the right person to ask. Mm. <laughs> he will have a lot of information, lots of data to compare it to. Um, the other information seems to be actual medical data on two individuals uh, who were it's not clear but it seems that they were attacked by a creature and injured um, they seem to have been poisoned by something some sort of injected venom or some sort of in um, sort of defense mechanism from a creature which was um, making them very, very ill. Uh, it seemed to be... Um, the wounds were sort of central body wounds, and they seemed to be... Um, basically, they seemed to be causing period... sort of slowly and rapidly increasing uh, organ failure across most of their major internal organs. Oh, nice. Uh, whatever it was um, seemed to be a venom because it didn't seem to travel. It didn't seem to be an airborne thing. It was definitely mm. something it was isolated to those individuals. And it was isolated to those individuals. Mm. Uh, and 
uh, it rec- record there's records of basically what happened to them followed by some form of basic autopsy report mm-hmm. uh one of which is incomplete there's the beginning of the report but it obviously it wasn't finished okay so is there anything that gets us any closer to knowing who is who was operating the warehouse or what was going on in the warehouse the data there isn't a huge amount the only information is that the tubes were delivered on a particular date okay which is those that there's other information suggesting that other creatures have been delivered before there's you can find sort of manifests of arrivals and when things were worked on and what was the basics of what was done including one which seems to have been some sort of work to implant this neural neurally implant this device you found into this creature suggesting that that was done there on site um there's other records of other creatures being enhanced or being dissected for uh study or in some cases simply being cut up for bits of organs which they believed had um either medical or sort of cut open for venom sacks to gain access to venoms or uh, unusual bits and pieces of um, sort of biological basically cutting them open to get at certain biological products within the creatures. Okay, it's like harvesting them. Harvesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. uh, Good word. M- M- Magos, you... do you... you... Are you aware that the implantation of this device was carried out in the warehouse? Yes, yes, I just noticed that. There's that suggestion. That is, um, that is, I mean, the facilities they had there would make it possible, but did you somewhat basic. Did you recognise any of the equipment from what you knew of the work of Magos Gelt? No, uh, the equipment there was, there was none of his, what I would consider his the sort of specialised equipment that he made use of, but what was there was high enough and certainly... It was certainly of a quality to be able to make such a procedure possible. It would probably have worked better or may have been more success... had a higher success chance with better equipment, but as you say, the creature was perfectly alive until it, your unfortunate need to um, deal with it the, um, the it was successful so I would suggest whoever was involved was a fine uh, bi- a fine biologist certainly do I know the, when these deaths started happening the deaths I believe started it was about one a month for the last six, seven months. And does that coincide at all with the delivery date of these cryo tubes? The cryo tubes arrived seem to have arrived before that. The delivery date seems to have been about ten, eleven months ago. Oh, so quite a while before. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's also when you look at it, you also start to look at the time stamps of the data and when they were created. It becomes obvious that the the injuries that were treated were treated in that period between the arrival of the cryotubes and basically when all the data, when anything that isn't just standard data collection, which seems to have tailed off, happens. It's also interesting that the point it sort of starts to tail off is around about the time those murders start to occur. So it got out, is what I'm thinking. They were collecting data on it for those four or five months since it arrived. arrived. Then the data collection stopped at around the time the death started occurring. Yeah. Right, so the things got out, clearly. Um, Or it was trying to eat the stuff, so they decided to feed other people to it. Well, yeah, well, yes. Yeah. Well, I did. I did think actually that the pile of dead people probably was mm. potential fodder for the the thing. Um, okay. Um, well, there was something else I was going to ask. About. Oh yeah. Um, 
Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna just ask the Magos. Can can you um, can we begin some analysis on this data to try and establish what this thing actually is? Of course. Uh, I've already had a subroutine start looking cross referencing data to begin uh, putting together a plan to analyze the data in the most efficient way possible. It will take some time, but um, if you wish, you can leave the analysis with me and I will uh, contact you when the data collection and analysis is complete. Thank you, Magos. If I may remain in the temple for a short while, I'd like to go and worship. Oh, of course. Please feel free to make use of the, the temple facilities. Uh, one moment. He uh, he sort of he leans over and picks sort of sort of reaches under a workbench and pulls something out. It's a little um, it's a little sort of green sealed uh, data storage device, uh, which he one of his mechanics sort of passes to you and goes. This will give you f- this will give you full and free access to all but the all but the uh, secure vault for the temple. Nice, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Key please, card acquired. Please, please, <laughs> please, con- please, con- <laughs> please consider. Your, please consider yourself. As far as I am concerned, you are a brother in need, and as of for your while you are here. This shrine is your shrine as much as it is mine. Please make use of it as you see fit and as you need. Thank you, Magos. On my way out, I'm just going to look at look over these um, pedestal things, mm. and while I'm worshiping, and just make sure there's not like a really suspicious little dusty outline of that thing that we've been analysing. Missing, <laughs> just in case. Yes. All of the pedestals have items on them. Oh, rubbish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there is no, there is, there is nothing missing, and it doesn't look like there's a gap for anything oh, in man. the pedestal. Okay. So it seems unlikely this device come has come from here. All right. Well, not from a pedestal here. Or it? not from a pedestal <laughs> here. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you can you can take a few, however long you you need to uh, worship at the the shrine. Oh, I wasn't actually going to do that. I was just going to loiter and have a look around at the things. Which. So. To a tech oh, priest yeah. is a certain oh, kind of, certain kind yeah. of worship, really. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose. I'm looking at ca- looking at Gadge. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I'll, then I'm going to toasters head back. Shift back to the old. Uh... Yeah. You obviously have to make the way on foot. Um, yeah. It's again quite busy at this time, and you find that there's a certain area around you is kept. People don't feel you don't get a, any intrusion on your personal space, and you do see. You see, most people will seem cautiously polite. They might, if you catch, if they catch, you catch their attention, sort of make eye contact or cat, catch their attention, they might nod, they might um, sort of bow slightly. They will certainly move out of your way. Um, you find the odd one make the sign of the Aquila as you pass. Um, and there's, you see the odd sort of local in sort of slightly heavier duty work gear. The ones who might have sort of um, bits of what might be almost like blast furnace protection and things like that actually make the uh, the sign of the cult, the cult mechanica symbol across their chest, which is that as you pass, suggesting that they might be Slightly more involved with yeah. the Mechanicus I'll than re- I'll return others. that, but to the others, I'm going to remain aloof. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyone that you do return the, thing, the sort of thing, uh, thing to, you you you're not good at reading, probably reading human body language anymore. But you certainly, it certainly seems to lift the spirit slightly to have that recognised and returned. All right. Good. Day. You make an impression. As you oh, return. he's making friends. I know, right? <laughs> so, as you get back, um, by this point, Galva should have just mm-hmm. been should have returned not too long before. I've lost the third game of Registry. <laughs> Still um, not keep sure. Keep on telling you, I'm replicating what I did before. I'm saving my king. With the will of the emperor <laughs> flows through me. Don't understand why a horsey can't move there. <laughs> 
Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so <laughs> how's my... See, if, if these two are just ignoring the data, I'll obviously have to go through it myself. Fair enough. You um, you run through the information. The the autopsy reports on the the dead bodies found, most of the information seems to show a frenzied, close attack with bladed weaponry. Um, definitely weapons, or could it be claws? The, I mean, are they just talking about razor-sharp objects? Or? They are talking about sharp, pointed, bladed objects. So it could be claws, theoretically. Could be claws, theoretically. However, the description Practically. suggests... Uh, tends to suggest quite long... Long, thin blades. L- fairly long, thin blades, but there are also... More like knives or swords. Knife. Closer to knife length. But there's also suggestions of... Um, that suggests that these may have attempted to put up some form of defence. They've got injuries that would suggest that they've attempted to defend mm-hmm. themselves. Um, or most of them do. There's one or two that seem to have been attacked from behind and had completely no... Completely unawares. Completely unawares. Um, and there are also injuries that would relate to possibly uh, attempts at strangulation. Hmm. Um, sort of... Damn it! Sort of bruising around the neck and sort of top of the chest, possibly mm-hmm. bruising, suggesting sort of being knelt on as well. There were missing body parts as well. There are records of missing body parts. Um, there's at least one account of both ears missing. Uh, there's an account of one that's missing uh, had had the eye removed. Mm. There's multiple... Surgically or during a fight? Um, it seems to have been removed in a non-surgical manner. Mm. So ripped out. Spoon. Or pulled or Pulled out. Do the reports generally indicate that they were ripped apart or that yeah. they were cut? It definitely uh, were... seems to have been cut. Um, Wasn't there okay. a kind of vaguely ritualistic? There seem to be bits. To it yeah, they, they seem to be suggesting yeah, um, bits were missing: eyes, mm. ears. Yeah, I think that was suggested before the uh, in our early brief yeah. as well. Um, okay, do, have they ID'd any of them, and do they match the missing individuals? Or, um, all but one of the individuals has been ID'd. They are all locals from within this area. Uh, they are all locals that were reported missing um, relatively uh, within close proximity, either just before or just after the bodies were found. And all of them dead within the last... It, it's it's within the, the last six, months? six seven months. Okay. Um, and it's, it seems to have been one a month. Which also was a bit weird, because it always seems to oh, happen was, within a few like, days like of the first mountain of the month. Them. Hmm? Well, they're like a no, this is this is the separate. This is more what we were here to investigate These in the first place. Were found. Hmm. Whereas the warehouse, we kind of happened upon the... and went. Ah, oh yeah, I was thinking warehouse for the corpses, mountain. The mountain of bodies. <laughs> there are also preliminary autopsy reports on those. None of those are local. Ooh. In fact, all of them are off welders. Are off welders. Hmm. Okay. Or all what of the ones speak? currently. In all the ones they've looked at or test subjects. <laughs> seem to be off-worlders. Um, they all seem to exhibit... There, there's no... See, doesn't seem to be much similarity in... It's not as though they're all from one particular world. There aren't a lot of similar features. It seems to be quite a wide... From numerous worlds. Uh, collection. Like slave trade. From... Numerous worlds. There are definitely some that have the look of those that haven't spent a lot of time on world. Mm-hmm. There's element. They, they found. They said that the report shows they've looked into about fifteen bodies, and of that, at least three or four show signs of um, growing up or living for an extended period of time on uh, within lower than av- lower than average G, which suggests mm-hmm. grav plating. So, space stations, starships, stuff like that. Smacks okay. of slave trade. That's a bit. Okay, so um, from my in-depth analysis of all this, does there 
Does it give us any potential leads? Well... <clears throat> or do you want a roll of some kind? Um, How will I read? I have literacy certain bit, plus ten. There's certain bits of information you, you can get, you can Thanks quite easily get. There's certainly... Um, there's a few bits on at least two of the noble houses that are involved with the... that are, seem to be involved with this group. Those two noble houses match two of the ones that seem to be two of the three that seem to be involved with the shipping line. Okay, do I know about that yet? The uh, shipping line wasn't that. I don't think so. I don't think I've told anybody anything yet. Okay. On my back. All right. Well, I will have. I will have noted them. You, well, when he, by the time Bug gets back, he when he gives you that information, that immediately becomes okay, obvious. Because I, I will probably have prepared a debrief. Yeah. In my traditional Arbite fashion. But there are there are two houses that seem to be definitely involved. Both alike in dignity. One is House of Veloc. The oh. other is House, is House Trador. Both of these are noble houses on this world. What was the first one? Uh, Veloc. Have we heard either of those names before? Um, Common Law Imperium? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. I actually have that one. Come along, come on. okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Uh, two degrees. Good point. So the, these are involved in the they, oh, shipping of the people onto the planet. Three degrees, I have plus ten. The, these, one, these, are two, these two houses have come up in relation to... have come up in relation to the sort of tra these, this beast trader cult. The, oh, okay. the Arbites have been watching. They seem to have some sort of connection, but they can't... Beast trading, you say? They can't substantiate well, it in any way. There's only rumour. But it is two of the ones that are involved with the shipping line that you've just brought the information back in. Probably brought the the cylinders in. They can um, chat about whatever they're did, doing. I'm going to look at a map. <laughs> yep. Did the Arbites uh, come back with anything on the ship? Because obviously we gave them a lead on that. Yeah. Between what Griff and I found. Um... Or so the enforcers, not the other. The enforcers haven't come back. Don't haven't come back with anything yet. Um, but there's a couple of other things that are obvious to, that are become obvious. Mm -hmm. The um, attack pattern seems to be within a few days of the first day of the month, mm -hmm. and has been for the last seven months. Um, interestingly. There is a suggestion of a pattern in the... You, as you get more information on this, you start to get a suggestion of a pattern in the attacks. It's also, whenever they, all of the those that are injured, the, sort of, the locals that have been killed, there is always something missing, but there is very rarely anything large missing, body parts missing from the body. There is also... Smacks of trophy taking. So there is organs rather than... So it's things limbs. like... Ears, eyes, fingers, toes. Trophy tape. Is it always something different from every victim? No, there's various reports of... In some cases, it's multiple things. In some cases, oh, right. it's one. So it's not somebody's taking one thing from each person mm. and then... No. <laughs> Doesn't seem Frank to be. It kind of removes a ritualistic method of killing. It smacks of trophy taking, though. Mm. Fingers, ears, or easily removable, and can be put round chains or... Yeah, but chemicals. eyes wouldn't. Eyes would kind of... Not last so for eyes maybe symbolic, them. yeah. Depends what you, you might put them in a jar, but they're all pretty easy to take, aren't they? From, I was thinking from the pattern, can I work out where I is there a pattern on where it's happening as well? Still playing with the map? Still playing with the map. Can both <laughs> of you two give me straight intelligence tests? Believe. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes I can. I rolled a three. I had surface navigation. Uh, it wouldn't help. I rolled it a ninety. Works. Okay. <laughs> you are you are moving. You you kind of can. You, there's definitely a pattern. It's a six. Yeah, but it still wouldn't help. You're looking at. I think it's. I wasn't looking for. Like, yeah, I don't I think. I was looking for my better patient. Yeah, I don't think I was paying attention to what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I want you to think. The, what you notice, <laughs> they the pattern. Is there is actually a pattern now? You know where you think this might have come from. You can see that these are slowly moving outwards, 
each attack has come it may be a bit of a random it's not quite a random direction they almost seem to be gently spiraling it's a bit jerky because it sort of depend mm-hmm. seems to be dependent on where they found them but it seems to be a spiraling out pattern it didn't make a lot of sense until you knew your start point to look for because otherwise they're a little bit random but once you so have a central point, point the... you can start to Warehouse? see although the timing is out on a couple of them so there's one where they seem to have gone back and then carried on the pattern sacrificial that does kind of almost imply something ritualistic given patterns of killings yeah and i was thinking that perhaps this thing because of the timing had escaped and was killing people but it wouldn't it wouldn't do it it on the first of the month would it if it was just a creature unless it's got one of the mind control things in it would be surely if it was an animal it it would be more random what creature is this what is the thing from the tube that appears from the tube did they find anything in the track that they left there is no there is nothing in the record to suggest that there is that they have found anything other they, they list what they found they doesn't seem to be anything found that what you hadn't seen. A beast wouldn't take trophies, though. I was sure no. that, that that thing had... I thought there was like a wire roof or something. Oh, it was caged? Like a, yeah, it was a, the outside wasn't open to the sky. It what couldn't have it? got out. I don't know, we're talking about the creature in the tube, not the... Uh, Whatever got out of the tube. What's the creature in the tube? Oh, the we don't know yet. One, maybe. Oh. We know it was seven and a half feet tall and had six limbs, but other than that, we don't actually know <coughs> yeah. what it is. It has six. Well, lots of things have six legs. Six How do you know? It was in the data that we analysed Megos and I. Huh. Anything else about it? That it has really uh, claws about this long and it can tear through that. Um, if it has... Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we, we can surmise... Well, assuming that it was the thing that came out of the tube, we can surmise... The so the, in- the, 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 injury, the injuries to yeah. these people, does it look like it was multiple knife wounds? It would be kind of more claw-like or like single... There, in most cases, there were. When I say multiple, mm-hmm. um, it was it was enough <laughs> that there was enough wounds that they probably would have bled out in fairly sh- quick time. So it's hard to say, and the, the patterns are so mixed. Can't but if it, if it but if just... it was claws that were repeated, there would be like I don't know three or four, however many fingers are on the claws. There were def- in there were lines, suggestions, or if it's just like. A random person with a knife doing that. Obviously, it's a bit more random. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's probably not or the gator. Prison shanking. It's probably not the gator list because they would bite you first. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, does, does it look like it's claw? This it would follow the, or follow the pattern of a claw, even there were like, else whether it's natural or unnatural. There well, were, I mean, there could be clawed blades. You know, there like were places. There are creatures that have clawed, clawed hands. Yeah, there were there were definite suggestions that there may have been clawed. The, the, they had some form of hand because they obviously found suggestions of strangulation. Yeah. And in that case, they often found wounds that would suggest that they were clawed or sharp at the end. At, at the ends, because oh. there's damage to the back. Well, perhaps, 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 perhaps they were next. killed by that thing, and then the trophies perhaps were the data, taken perhaps that, perhaps that data could be added to what you have to kind of see yeah, if there's yeah, a connection yeah. because they could be linked. Or we could just uh, ask. I'm going to tr- just. Send that off. Ask the, the creature. Mm-hmm. No, the people would, will know where it is. Uh, would my character have any knowledge of gene steel? There are people that know where it is. <laughs> mm. Moving uh, tonight. I think I might. I will <laughs> look at the oh, address the and then flick to the coordinates. And on I, the in map. fact, can yeah. show you my proof I have access mm-hmm. to knowledge about gene steels. <laughs> Just things with six limbs and claws. So I was thinking more lictor than gene stealer because seven feet tall. Yeah, but I'm thinking that they have. Yeah, it's I don't not, know anything about them. So it's not a razor hide. Right. Uh, it's not a death man. It's not a gator risk. It's not an iron tusk. Mm, I don't know. A well, lion. Whatever it is seems to have some lion. <laughs> <laughs> a badger. <laughs> a seven foot badger. <laughs> oh, no. it's a terrifying prospect. Yeah. Yes. Um, there is something else that you notice within this pattern it seems that the the sort of attack like the first couple of ones are definitely in a pattern a very definite one actually as you, once you work out the centre the others then seem to start to expand the pattern in a weird way what are you drawing pictures for? 
There's a pattern to the killings. Is it a handprint? <laughs> I'm going to assume no, because no. it's a spiral. It's a small um, spiraling. No. But the spiral starts what to What was the thing widen. on the ceiling that we found with the skull oh, and the yeah, thing? Yeah, the little hand on it. Oh. Is one? that in any of your data? In the, there is in the temple, we saw at the top of... What was it at the top of? On the roof. Oh, on yeah. The, oh yeah, there was like a hand, like a symbol of a handprint. Of the downstairs. The, Oh, the eaves of the, the, um, the crypts. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. about that. There's nothing that seems to relate in the b- briefing material you've received. Okay. Um, so I can roughly predict where the next one will happen. You've got an idea where it would happen. <laughs> Here. But you've got... <laughs> it's around about... It seems to be the earliest possible point it could next happen is about 10 to 12 days away. Yeah, I will kind of indicate an area on the map of where I think the next one was. Um, like can you happen. kind of you say you've extrapolated can you the location? Can you give me a perception the check? Straight perception. Straight perception. Oh, I'm going to use a fake point because that was a definite no. Uh, Nineteen. Yes. yes. Two degrees. Rather the than ninety-three. S- <laughs> the later attacks, the last two or three, seem to suggest that whatever point. Where one point definitely seems to be a centre point. It seems that centre point is shifting as the later you add the later attack points in. Oh, I see. So it's almost like there's a bubbles kind of forming. No, it's more that the spiral no, is elongating, like the almost like the s- oh, like like the um, like, like a spiral, like spiral. Like spir- yeah, it's snail shell. Thing. No, yeah. no, it just means that the centre is drunk. <laughs> Basically, imagine a spirograph. And if you then someone started to nudge it, yeah, that's kind oh. of what I was thinking. Okay, so from where the last one was, I can extrapolate that the centre. Where does that centre relate to where the address Galva just gave me? Um, nowhere, nowhere near. However, it does become fairly obvious that it's shifting in a very particular direction towards the church. Towards the church. It's following well tunnel. Who, Darius? Where is the tunnel? Temple. Yeah. So Where is this? Make this map if I, work. If I kind of, <laughs> if I kind of draw a line on the map from the tunnel, because mm. you you could definitely work out where that that tunnel is. Yeah, I will draw so, the line well, on the map. So is that, that is that following the path of the? It of it definitely one. seems to be moving. It would suggest that it's pushing the centre towards a point closer to the temple than where it started, which is that original building. And the wounds that are described are definitely not the same from that giant wibbly uh, excremental. That no, no, that that, that thing, that thing would uh, you, that thing that basically like giant and yeah, that that was yeah. very definitely them. yeah, yeah, that's no kind of what I thought, but I just sort of double check. Yeah. Yeah. The, the bodies you found seemed to be the, there was definite suggestions that there were some very s- little left of some bits of I, things or I, just limbs your picture so it may just be chewing on things the is looking more and more likely uh, well no we on Gudrun we fought uh, Xenos hybrids um, from the Great Devourer uh, the only thing is I could think that I would have human hands and claws on the end they're basically they half, human, human half, hands. Uh, half human hands guys half does human. that symbol mean anything to you which one? <laughs> the symbol of the killing pattern. The, the, oh, I yeah. know what this is. This is when you have you have your spike and you have your chain and the thing can't right. get further than this. But so if you move the post and the chain, heresy. it goes here. Yeah, for but it's still heresy. a spiral rather yeah. than a circle. Then it can't mm. go around it. I try a fake point. <laughs> try a fake point on that one. Okay. Uh-huh. Still not great. Um, yeah, that would probably like almost two degrees. The, this is this doesn't you don't recognise this as anything dark or dangerous. It just seems to be a slightly strange well, pattern. My other theory, going to the uplifting primer for this one, is I had drinks with a captain of the Valhallen forty ninth about three years ago and he said the Hydra Coldanus when they fought the Great Devourer, they fought something that was seven feet tall and could turn invisible called a lictor. Now the primer says, look, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Seven feet tall, two massive claws, yeah, stabby claws, stupid hat. plus those stabby <laughs> things, plus human hands with claws. Um, however, wouldn't something from the Great Devourer, you know, eat Devour. Them? Maybe, but if it's mind controlled... It's not hungry. Um, 
would the wounds look consistent with any Xenos, known Xenos breeds? Depend- I, don't know, I don't know that much about Xenos. Depends on how much you know about Xenos breeds. I will... Get, I've only got these pictures. I will, <laughs> I will get... That's all I've got. I will get the sergeant back on the comm and ask him to run it against known Xenos breeds. I don't know how much they'd know about the Great Devourer. Well, they 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 would have standard records this of the Great Devourer. Things. Um, the this, he he says he'll he'll Basically, see what he can he'll see what he can get, but he will have to contact with Central yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. gain permission yeah. to access oh, certain so records. If anyone access. if anyone gets in your way, give them my details. Understood, sir. Shouldn't we con- we could contact the nearest Ordo house and see if they know anything? They could send us anything. You do have a you do have a link back to the the headquarters in the hive where you were sent from. Oh yeah, good shout. You um, do have secure you do have a secure contact there if necessary. All right. Just yeah, I don't well, know. One, yeah. once we've done everything we think we can do, we will send them a full report and ask them to analyse it. Yeah. Okay. I'm also continually feeding this all back to the Magos as well, just in case. Yeah. So mm-hmm. maybe the claw patterns something you're yeah, going yeah. to. Yeah. The Ma- the, you get a response. You get a sort of medium. typical holding response from the Magos, basically going, "Thank you for the extra <laughs> information." response. Yeah. <laughs> if there is something from the Great Devourer here, that's going to be of key military interest. It could be done. They infiltrate. They so, did on where does this tunnel go? It, it, the tunnel was just between the temple and the warehouse, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it did. But it was in partly in a sewer, if I remember right, wasn't it? Well, it, it seemed to have been... Or some kind of pre-existing tunnel. There seemed to have been some form of pre-existing tunnel that went away from that, um, from the, the temple. There was a wall, wasn't there? But it came to an end, and it seemed to have the been... The wall got smashed in. There was a blocked mm. a blocked wall, you couldn't go any further, and then there was the, the shaft that had been cut. What about on the other side? Uh, wasn't it a wall? Or did the, well, the there, there was sort of. It looked like it had been purposefully closed in at that point. Oh, purpose, but it was old. It wasn't a recent. It had been closed a long time. Yeah. Or, what if there's another shaft? We probably would have seen that. I'm guessing. Uh, but on the way back, you probably would have seen it. You were paying fairly close attention to anything on the ceiling by that on, point. On the other side, maybe. Yeah, but the ball was bricked up a long time ago, so... Yeah, but that doesn't mean it is on the other end. So what you're saying is demo charges. Just because it's closed in the middle doesn't mean it's not open on the other end. True. Is that the end where the mer- no, the true. killings are going, or are they going back towards the... It would be going from from the the spiral suggests that the sh- the path, if there is a central so point, the it's, this side. it's shifting going towards, towards the, the temple. Yeah. But it's going so, out as well in a circle. There's quite a few things in the same area as the temple. As it's a yeah. made glass tech thing. There is the, the black the tech shrine. Of the market and, it, and it is a fairly so. central location, mm. yeah. yeah. And the big statue with the mm-hmm. energy field. Was Maybe it, it's attracted to energy. Was it the, the big thing that made the floor should, move? That made the whole thing the move? Temple. Or, or was the it big something force else? Field thing oh, that was, the, that, 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 was that great one, big thing clawing its way out of the cellar. Out of the below the temple. Interesting. Yeah. So plans moving forward. Okay, if we think we've got all of the data we can, I am going to send a report to the Inquisitorial base. Okay. Ask them to analyse it against known Xenos breeds, and also ask them to look into whether the spiral pattern again, sending them images, mm-hmm. is anything known. Yep. That's fine. You get, you, you get a standard, affirma- you get a standard affirmation a report up. received, await response. Um, I think we should go back and reinvestigate the tunnel between the... By blowing a wall up. Yeah. No, that's going in the wrong direction. I thought that was in the right direction. No. The, the wall is from the warehouse moving away from the temple... We need to go from the warehouse towards the temple because that's the direction the spiral's moving in. Oh, you're like, fine. It's fine. It's fine. There might be something on bring, the other bring end. Bring the we can blow up. Bring the, <laughs> bring the demo charges. They can come in handy. <laughs> I know you like exploding. Yeah. Well, on that note, then, let's move out. 
and then yeah, let's go and let's go investigate the tunnel. You're planning to head out, yes, and make your way back to the the temple and back down on into the sort of lower levels. I'm assuming you're kitting up for this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got the same kit as last time, really. I'm so not yeah, wearing sure any armor. Hmm? You're not sure wearing armor. Didn't help you much. Shirt off. I'm with the I was a few times. Okay. Was it? Well, I'll have fun Straight with that. Into the tunnels. <laughs> well, I, I will wear like a kind of big kind of Still cover thing to yeah. basically make it not quite so obvious that an arbite's walking through the middle of the town before well. going into the underground. Yeah, I'm, I'm refusing to break <laughs> this my cover. I'm a travelling priest <laughs> and no more. <laughs> you know, How far is it? Surrounded by people. You don't oh, character to it. You've done the DVD commentary. In, like, <laughs> including the space in between where all the things are on our map now. Because we've kind of laid this out and we've got this is kind of an origin point, and then this is where we think it's going to. How long would that take by just walking? Well, you've walked it. Yeah, but like, how far is that approximately? I th- it took you. You had to take a slightly circuitous route. I think it. I said it took you sort of twenty it wasn't long, minutes. Was it? No. So it's not that far. So. So as the crow flies all through a tunnel. Well, uh, so what's above taking, ground? So what's taking it so long? Maybe it's the snail. Well, if we walk it's to the roots, perhaps we yeah. will notice something about it. Um, um, perhaps there is some connecting factor along the way. Again, we will might take a, a circuitous route to not walk through the main public areas. Because mm. we are... Drive. Again, there's not that many vehicles. It would attract quite a bit of attention. I'm just going to walk there. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be holding the hell gun yeah. in the front. I will walk along somewhere. the main route to see if there's anything to notice along that way. Okay, guys and Gava, go for a walk. <laughs> All right, we'll meet you there. Oh, so are we driving and then and these these? Um, if we it? can drive a security route, that would you can. And there's it. it, it there's I'll just write reasonable... flower delivery on the side of the van, and then it's invisible. So. There are enough vehicles moving about. It's the sort. It is effectively the middle of the day cycle. So okay, All right, it's well, not unusual. There's, we'll there's do enough that vehicles then. to blend in, and the vehicle you have is very effective at blending in. It's designed to... to... Oh, before people start going anywhere, Bug, can you have a look at them? Make sure they're oh. functional, to use a term you would be oh, more yes. familiar Usual with. Oh, medicate knowledge. What? I already how checked. Do, how do That's I medicate? Fine. It's medicate. I'm not bleeding. Medicate I'm not test, dying. which is based on your intelligence. I'm going to try and brush him off and just carry on. No. Believe in the Emperor's... Uh... 38. Yes. How many successes? None. Yeah, so was. who was that on? Me, because I was the only one who oh. let him do it. Yeah, Fair enough. If you do not feel yeah. pain, you 38. will not know the Emperor's true path. I've got it trained. Yeah. You must well, suffer in this lifetime in order to mm-hmm. pass on to, to the next lifetime with the Emperor's oh, no, guidance. It wasn't a whole degree under, was it? Well, it's my old commanding yeah, officer said so the Emperor oh, no, protects. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sometimes it helps to do it yourself. The Emperor protects, but carry a big gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, did it work? Yes. How many heels do I get? Two. You... One on each foot. Oh. <laughs> no, it's a... You didn't pass any degrees... So I think it's a D five. <gasps> so well, D five. No. I roll a D ten. D ten. Basically, oh, it's a, isn't it yeah. intelligence bonus type plus D five? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It might be intelligence bonus plus. Oh, god. So D. Yeah. So basically, you roll a D ten so and here's a four. Yeah. What did you get? Four. So I divide it by two. Yeah. It's so two. two. <laughs> so two plus whatever your intelligence bonus over the first Six. digit of your intelligence. Oh. So you get eight back. Oh, I'm back to full health. Thank you very much. It won't matter, I'll get shot again. <laughs> but... his, his intelligence bonus is full. Thank you. Oh, so, oh, so, six, six. Six. so you got six back. So you no, need... it's still full. Okay. I was on nine, and my total is 14. Okay, so yes. Oh. Well done. Okay. You can check the other two if you want. I think they... Uh, they sort We've of slipped out gone. while you're... <laughs> they may have slipped out while you're... Oh, are you gone already? Yeah. Oh, well... So... No, that's fine. Oh, well. Oh, well. No. Nah. Sucks to be you. <laughs> so we're are we sauntering or are we um we'll we'll take the we'll take the vehicle okay he'll only complain otherwise take the truck yeah the other two mm. so guys and yeah, galva you complain. obviously set off yeah for, to, to walk um it's a little bit busier than the last time you walked it 
Mm -hmm. Um, You seem to have hit around a shift change. Uh, There's quite a lot of people moving about. Mm -hmm. Um, However, your your way is fairly smooth, partly smoothed by the fact of a... Mm-hmm. Imperial priest, uh, and you get a very much the same reaction as pre as you did before. There's people will move out of your way. You, you get a lot of people making the sign of the Aquila as you pass. Uh, one or two sort of um, one or two put themselves sort of in your path to try and receive a blessing. A reasonable number, sort of, just actually just try it they, they give you sort of space but they will sort of reach out to touch the edge of a rope like your sleeve or a robe or in along the way yeah. and while they don't you don't pick up a, a, a following or a trail just me you just you i walk behind him yeah that's probably a, because he's awake and b because i can keep an eye on anyone yeah <laughs> but you um you do sort of mm-hmm. the popular seems to be quite Happy to see you, generally, Good. and you're you're not particularly impeded as you move around the streets simply because people do give you the space to move. Mm. I'll pass out the odd blessing and uh, nod. And make yeah, it's the symbols you, of people. You, you they do. Te- it does seem to. Like it, that one. <laughs> just the popular seems to. It does. Seem, you're just your presence yeah, passing help. through does seem to just lift everyone's lift people's spirits a little bit. It does seem to have an effect. Just your your presence has an effect on the population. As you're moving, <laughs> Galva, give me a perception check. Perception. Nope. Nope. Hmm. You don't. You don't. Uh, you, you're keeping, uh, nothing. As Just you're keeping an nothing. eye out, you don't see anything sort of suspicious or untoward. No one seems to be following you. No one's paying you undue attention, other than the whole thing of the, there is a priest with you. You arrive at the temple. Um, it is does seem to be open. There are um, the sort of blue robe lay staff mm. around. They seem to be only letting certain people in um, through the main doors, but they do seem to be directing other those they don't let in to what appears to be um, it appears someone's rigged up fabric sort of in the overhang Mm -hmm. of the temple Mm -hmm. because it does sort of slightly overhang there's a a sort of I suppose like a portico across the front of it Uh, and someone's rigged up um, material and poles Mm -hmm. to make a sort of covered outdoor space in front of the temple which they're directing people into and seems to have some of the, the 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 lay preacher leading, like prayer groups or service, small services, or what would normally be undertaken in the temple is being done sort of in a jury rigged outside space on the temple, on the frontage of the temple. Mm-hmm. A few people are allowed in, and when you approach, they they immediately sort of bow. They catch sight of you. They just they bow you in and sort of gesture. And the moment you step inside. Um, another of them immediately sort of comes up to you, makes the sign of the Aquila, mm. and goes, Father, it is good to see you have returned once more. Do you wish to see the preacher? I do. I will please f- feel free to m- move about the temple. However, obviously be you are well aware of the damage. Please... Mm. Uh, be careful. I will let Preacher Darius know that you are here uh, and wish to see him. And he sort of hurries off towards the rooms that you know okay. Darius has in that direction. Um, the remember temple... uh, along the way, mm-hmm. there was there anything about the route that might have attracted anything? Was it, is that like common for food? Like um... vendors or I don't... Not particularly. Nothing. This no, it doesn't look any different. No. It doesn't. It looks like a the, a fairly standard, slightly run down hive area. Okay. Something you are very familiar with. It doesn't look unduly different to any of the other any of the other hive areas you've ever been to or mm. you've ever spent time in. 
this one seems a little bit more... It feels just as sort of run down and a little bit gloomy and a little bit sort of grim and just that, because it's a very industrial area, there's that sort of polluted element to it. Yeah. But the people sort of seem... It's almost as if some they they have been more down, but the sort of light of the emperor has reinvigorated this area in some way, and they there is a bit more hope than there than you've seen in other areas like this. In than some you way. would expect to find. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And in the temple, you can see the there is still the hole in the floor. Mm. It has been sort of crudely barricaded round, mm. and you can see the. Um, it seems that people are starting to work to shore up the floor level so it, they might be able to start mm. making repairs, mm. basically. Yeah. All of the, the various bits that of the floor have been cleared, the bits that were thrown up. The bit that was stuck in the wall. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the only bit that isn't is the bit that is stuck in the wall, uh, and that's the bit with the Aquila mm. head on it. Mm. Uh, that actually seems they've almost scaffolded it to help hold it in place mm. and there seems to be a small shrine starting to grow at the base of the um, at the base of the uh, the, the scaffolding just put a frame around there's sort mm -hmm. of votive offerings and candles have been left there and there's one or two people who seem to be at prayer in front of it Um, mm. Apart from that, your your presence. You, you see a few of the the locals who are very sort of cash. They seem to sort of think that there's a certain recognition there, mm. and certainly a lot of the the sort of the local preachers or his or the those within the temple definitely recognise you as mm. you pass. They nod to both of you. Oh. They nearly all make the sign of the Aquila to both of you. Um, mm. They don't. No wonder you're like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the they don't seem to they don't seem to see they recognise Gaius as a priest, but they don't seem to act in any way different to you, which is quite unusual weird. to you. Yeah, <laughs> kind of <laughs> very <laughs> weird feeling. Have you considered a profession? <laughs> I have one. Inquisitorial agent. <laughs> um, I don't like people looking at me all the time. You can hear, um, you can hear. Obviously, there's plenty of movement around, but the um, you hear a, a door open and the sound of measured but rapid footsteps, mm -hmm. and the um, you hear uh, sort of echoing across the room. You hear, "Ah, my saviors have returned." It is good to see you again, as um, Darius comes across the sort of along the length of the temple towards you. It is good to see that you are well, Shepard. And, I uh, I am as well as the Emperor has allowed me to be. My injuries still trouble, but without pain, the em we do not know the Emperor's grace. Indeed, it is so, and. Emperor willing, you will lead a, a long life uh, imparting his wisdom uh, to the masses. I can only hope that that is his plan for me. However, your return is most welcome. How can me and the, how can the the temple assist those of the obviously in the God Emperor's light? Um, well, we have made sure that this uh, creature is uh, truly was truly dead, and um, we have uh, scouted through the tunnels below. Um, there seemed to be some breakage in the the wall there where it had uh, come through. The under levels of many places are often so. Mm. It is saddening. To, it is saddening to know that somewhere in the below us lurks darkness that the Emperor's light cannot touch. However, I'm sure that with your help and with the God Emperor's, we will be able to rebuild and hopefully cleanse that which lurks below. The yes. great hope of all. 
The Emperor's light shall touch all eventually. Maybe so. How? But how can we assist you now? You have obviously returned. You are welcome to worship if you wish. Hmm. However, I am guessing that you have more weighty matters to deal with. Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> mm. You are not getting that weighty thing down. We we attempted to remove it from from the wall. Mm. However. It seems to have caused damage in such a way that its removal may threaten part of the roof. Hmm. We secured it, and since then it has become a symbol of a symbol to the local population of the hope in the God Emperor. Even in the worst adversity, it can bring its own rewards in unknown and unusual ways. Only he knows truly his plan. Oh. It's a scar. Scars heal and scars help us remember. Hmm. At this point, <laughs> the others arrive. You three arrive. You find the, the back of the temple. Um, it's still quite grand all the way around, but this is um, there is a an area behind it. Um, where our sort of the buildings, the other buildings don't come up to it. The temple has a sort of almost a sacred barrier around it. It's a, it has been left space, and there are some accesses into the building from behind that lead into the side wings. Uh, which, yeah, any, any of you been here, you will have seen those accesses, and the doors don't seem to be locked. Yeah, we'll go to the one that leads towards the stairs down. Fair enough. That, it's easy enough to gain access. Um, there's the odd... You see, the there's the odd sort of um, member of the temple moving about. But you only see one or two in the short distance you go, and they, they, they just nod to you. They seem to recognise who you are. No witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, literally just going to head down to the basement. Mm. Fair enough. Are we not going to wait for the other two? Well, we said we'd meet them there, so... Oh, okay. Um, I must say, Brother Darius, I um, I was hoping to find the miracle tomb when I went on the mm. ground here. There's the reason that I came to this, uh, this planet, after all, um, uh, on my pilgrimage. Is there, is there any chance that you have previously searched for it, or...? It is supposed to lie somewhere below. However, as you said, there are obviously tunnels and passages below that few descend now. We have enough difficulty keeping the temple itself in repair. Dealing with that which is lo below is at the lowest level of our... As much as we wish to keep the Emperor's house in good repair. It's not a priority. It is not a priority that we have the, ta the time or the ability to deal with at the moment. However, if you wish to search for it, please be welcome. Seek below in whatever tunnels and places you can find. And if the Emperor shines on you and you find the tomb finally, it will resound to your credit as well as the temples on for time immemorial, I'm sure. Please feel free. You have. Please spend what time you will in the temple and below it as you see fit. If you require our aid, you have but to ask. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to return. My physician has said I should still not be out of bed. Hmm. However, in the Emperor's name, one cannot shirk one's duties. So I am being as active as I may. I pray for his help and deliverance from the pains that I may serve him better. But please, spend your time, and I will hope to speak with you again another time. And you can see, as he finishes this, his, his breathing has become a bit more heavy and a bit more laboured just from talking with you. It's quite obvious he's he's got at least some broken ribs, and it's making it quite just painful to do anything mm. but yes yep. he, he he sort of allows you to mm. he, he he sort of 
makes the sign of the Aquila to you and takes his leave. Right. Just make the sign of the Aquila back and mm-hmm. go on his way. Nod, shrug, mm. walk. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You go, you don't, you, you head downstairs and you you sort of undoubtedly find these guys sort of somewhere on the stairs or in Probably the space. waiting down below. Waiting down below. Hi. It is still, it is still obviously better lit than it was. There's still a nice big hole in the roof leading to the upper levels. So there's a reasonable level of light. Mm. Um, but it is still quite dark and shadowy and that sort of damp that you found before. So you're looking for two. So we're looking for an alien monster. <laughs> well, it might be there. Ah, cool. It's all down, right? Ah. Right. We are here at the Inquisitor's wish, but there is tales of a there are tales of a miraculous tomb that uh, could do wonders, can heal, can give life, all kinds of things. Give a life. Mm. Okay. Um, so we're out of view of other people now. Yeah. Okay. I will then put the helmet on. And I'm going to have a look around and cycle through the different visions, mm-hmm. you know, like infrared, and just seeing if I can see anything unusual. You, there's the the obvious entrance that you, the tunnel you've been in before. There seems to be, there are, there's nothing particularly obvious. It's a large pillared space, it, so the the pillars do block lines of sight. Yeah. Um, you can't see anything. Particularly obvious, although now that you can see it, where the tunnel is on the other si- on one side, you think you can make out what might have been one opposite on the opposite wall of this space, but it seems to have been sealed. It's been um, bricked up demo charge. and sealed. They have. <laughs> okay. Is that in the direction that we think that the beast is? That's the the opposite direction. It so it's not where the it's not in the centre of the spiral. Not at the moment. It would be going beyond the temple, away from the the warehouse. So potentially an extension of the line that was drawn on the map. Okay. Put... Yeah, an extension of the lo- an extension of the line of that tunnel that you were in. It's it's almost as if it passes through the the through crypt the, the crypt of yeah. the temple and out the other side. Okay. If so, if I get the data slates out with the map on, if I continue the line and. Continue mm-hmm. the spiral. Does it pass by anything of significance? Doesn't seem to pass anywhere. Doesn't seem to pass within a sort of close distance of any of the the killings. Okay. And it does. It sort of the the line it takes takes seat that would carry on across the across this this dome this level of the hive until it hit um, until it hit sort of the wall and what it passes under or under sort of is either pretty much what this dome tends to have either industrial factories or houses or whatever okay there doesn't seem to be any other major buildings in the line okay it would take in that direction in fact even in the other direction it would fairly soon terminate at the wall of the of this level the hive okay well this is the any place of significance of the on the line that you know of that's on the map that we know of what about what about what he says possibly but it's not there now it's in between here and the warehouse but what if they found it already well you would have thought they would have found it when it was in under their warehouse what it start the um, the fo- the centre. No, was no, it? no. What he said. Oh, things. that. He said it gives life, and they are making things that do whatever. Maybe, maybe they found it. Possibly, but the, the uh, how old do the seal does the filling in look? Um, not quite as old as the original, but old. That's been there a very long time. If they'd have found it through there, that wouldn't be there. Unless they made another vertical... Uh, so we get mixed up about what we're trying to find at the moment. Is isn't our priori- a special tomb. Isn't our priority Whereas to find the... aliens. <laughs> isn't our objective here to find the beast first? 
Well, if they need it. The suggestion is that the uh, yes, I'm aware. Uh, has... Yeah, I'm aware of that's what they might be looking for. Assuming they are, they we don't know the two are connected. Okay, go hunt some aliens then, shall we? Before we were just trying to see where it went. We weren't really investigating. There may be signs of where what it is and where it's hmm. something else moving around here that's so... not. Thing we fought. Not yeah, so, should, should we, you, are you suggesting that we we walk the tunnel again and just look at it and look for tracks that would indicate a six-legged, eight-foot-tall yeah. thing? All right. Possibly sideways, then, because we went all over and did not find anything. We weren't looking. I was looking. Only for the big beastie. Yeah, we were no, looking I was for the looking bell. for the floor. Let's split up and search for clues then. <laughs> but I didn't see that there was many. There were many access points in the, within this tunnel to get out. Um, also, if it was attacking people from within the tunnel, mm-hmm. where would it have been getting out of the tunnel? There may be things there that we didn't see when we first yeah. walked because we were really mainly tracking. I mean, the... It's aiming to reach the. Temple, as it seems your tracking would suggest, then the that's the direction would be a pretty really. straightforward route there without any. Mm. Give me a perception test based on your hearing. I'm not that good. Oh, I did all right though. I failed by one. Huh? Failed a by one. single point. <laughs> Something catches your attention. You <clears throat> you you hear some you you hear something, but you're not quite sure where it's come from. But it's definitely the echoes in here are doing strange things. It's very quiet. But while the others are talking, you just catch the sound of something. In which direction? You can't tell. Well, let's just go have a walk then. Shh. Don't shush. We're shush. doing things. I hear something. It's very, very quiet. Good. Listen. You can all give me hearing perception. Yeah. <laughs> How do we do that? Um, so got a two. It's a standard perception. Just normal perception. Yeah, it's if you happen to have yeah. enhanced hearing, then you'll get bonuses. So it's definitely on your hearing, not generally on all your senses. Well, Liam rolled a two. So I passed, but not that well. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Liam rolled a two. There you, go. you get a. Vi- oh yeah, I passed by two degrees. Oh nice. Who passed? I passed by one degree. Fair enough. You you, you, you catch all of this them. thing that, that, you, that you you do catch this thing that Griff says he's heard, and it sounds like something. It sounds like some form of movement. Guys, you 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 sort of you just seem to you get this sort of idea that it's in a particular direction towards the wall, mm-hmm. um, the one that looks like it's been sealed. You're sure that it sounds, and to you, it sounds like the sound of material, he- like heavy material moving against stone. It's a sound that you're fairly familiar with in some ways. Mm. The sound you would associate with tapestry like tapestry tapestries or, the... or banners mm. brushing against stonework. Uh-huh. I say. <laughs> there is a he room is. on the other side. And it seems to be disturbed. Okay, I'll approach the wall very quietly. <laughs> and to the glass. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's not resort straight to demolition charges. No. No. I smack the wall with my Helga and see if it caves in. What, your Helga just crumples? <laughs> <laughs> there's a. Thunk. Yeah, there's a tung of definitely solid stone. Yeah, we'll have to use the damage. Right? But. Once you're there, you can you, see, you get this feeling you know, of what is... There is something flapping. You can see what looks like, above you, the remains of a banner. Like a long... Oh, actually, on the wall. On the wall. Oh, right. Attached to the wall. You can just about, in the darkness, in the gloom, or with a torch... I'll show you right it. Yeah, you can see a a very, very old metal sort of uh, bracket, bracket sort of attached to the to the ceiling screwed into the stone it's thick old dark metal and from it hangs about a third of what looks like 
a sort of long, narrow um, banner or some sort of decorative hanging. It's ripped and damaged. It's sort of the only the sort of top third of it remains, but it's been ripped off. It seems like it's ripped off at an angle. Um, what made it move? But what you can see is it is ge- there's a gentle. It is sort of gently just something behind it. There's a draft flapping against oh. the wall, and there isn't much color left in it. It's sort of. It looks like it was once a deep. Maybe once have been blue, but it's very, very, very faded and it's dirty. But you can sort of make out um, as what looks like part of what might have once been on it. And what it looks like is a, what looks like possibly the top part of an like an uh, Imperial Aquila wing. That seems to be, and a, the, and you can see part of that, and then part of what might once have been something like a halo above it, mm. and sort of down below, you can just see what looks like it might be the top of a sword or a staff or some sort of like weapon or object. Just sort of appearing from the t- the sort of tattered remains at the the edge on one side, where it's sort of longest. Um, can I flick to uh, uh, infrared and see if the heat signature behind the banner looks different than the wall? Mm. There's no obvious. I don't mean as in like glaring, but as in like a slightly different shade. There isn't a, really a different shade. Um, no, not really. So it's but not you air do... coming in from the outside. Yeah, I was trying to see if there was a hole in the wall. Yeah, there is definitely a. There does seem to be some sort of void near the top underneath it. Okay. Um, I think we need a ladder. Or we just can I reach it with my? How no, how this is this is probably about fifteen foot up. All right. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Scaffolding poles upstairs. There'll be a ladder probably. Can we climb the banner? <laughs> no, you can't reach it from here. The banner and drops. It, I'm to not about... sure that would take your weight. The lowest point of it drops to about <coughs> ten foot. Ten foot. Up, sort of ten foot from the floor. We could take it down and give it to Darius. He might like it. Can put it in another thing like the hole in the wall. There's a void up there. If we can get a ladder or something, or even scaffolding poles to allow us access, we may be able to see what's there. I was just going down a charge of some water, to be honest. No. Okay. Setting off Recognize demolition charges under a building with the structural problems this has would not end well. Creed or True. Ecclesiarchy? Um, you can try Ecclesiarchy. Wait till we find the only thing you can build that up. <laughs> just get a biscuit. Um, I passed by one degree. Passed by a degree. Um, none of the symbology is partic- that you that seems to be left is particularly unusual or special. Okay. Um, the only bit you do know is local knowledge mm. in relation to the local saint of this area. The, Blue things. This suffering mm. saint. Okay. Yeah. Is that he? Bishop and you've seen it occasionally. Hmm? Bishop of Suffering. Yeah. The the only bit you occasionally... You've seen that sort of around icons of him, and obviously mm. the statue, is often depicted... He is a saint, so he's often depicted haloed, mm. but is often depicted with um, an Imperial Aquila in some way holding or involved with a halo. Mm. So, given that what this temple is, it's possible that they might might be related. Given that you've got a halo and an and an aquila mm-hmm. in very close context, which is not particularly mm-hmm. normal. It's not a common bit of imperial symbology. 
is normally one or the other. So I'm going to go upstairs. Fair enough. Because the hole in the floor is in the ceiling of where we are-ish. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to go upstairs. And if I can't see an immediately obvious ladder, you said that they barricaded the mm-hmm. fenced off the thing. Yeah. Fencing is kind of as good as a ladder if you put it the right way around. Just kind of lower it down the hole to the guys and then we're good, right? Okay. You're going to... We form a ladder out of fences. We got or a ladder if there is one. Um, <laughs> either or. Come I'm not fussy. Galva, give me a plus 20 strength test. Because <laughs> you are just... Yep. Passed? Yep, two degrees. That's fine. Oh, wait, no, four degrees. You managed to lower it quite happily down What's without your... accidentally dropping it on any of these guys' heads. What's your skill in woodworking? <laughs> <laughs> Whittle... No, where's Morgan? <laughs> Whittle us a ladder. <laughs> We could just form a human pyramid. We could. That's that was my. No, idea. look, it's here. Just take it. He's doing it. <laughs> is it su- definitely suitable as a ladder? Uh, you can. I'll climb it. You can jury rig something. <laughs> I, I'm sure you can make it serviceable. Whittle, sir. You whittle stand away. at the bottom and do whittle the heavy away. thing. I do have a whittling mechanite. <laughs> <laughs> That's the episode right there. Uh, <laughs> whittling mechanic. Okay. So we jerry rig a ladder. You can jerry rig a ladder. Um between you, anyone involved, please give me a either an intelligence or an agility test. Agility. I failed. If you happen to have any skills to do with engineering. Hmm. I failed. I'm not helping. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do I suppose tech use would apply. Tech use is probably as close as you tech get. Tech use is game. probably as close as you're, as you're going to get. Yeah. Okay. Survival, I suppose. Yeah, if you've got survival, that's not yeah. a bad one. I'll let, you, I'll let you have survival. I still failed. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I passed by two degrees. Um, logic? Yeah. If you want logic to try on logic. Like yes, I pass. Okay. So. I failed. You failed by how much? Oh, three. What's my intelligence? Twenty-nine. Uh, four degrees. Okay. Ouch. How did you do? Uh, I passed. Passed by. by... Oh, what old? Four degrees. <laughs> Hang on, no. You two, two, three. Two, yeah. No, I've moved them right. since. Uh, I rolled twenty-seven, so passed by two degrees. Not really helping. I found it. What more do you want? <laughs> okay. yeah, you're still up top, aren't you? I passed by two degrees. Fair enough. You you build a serviceable ladder. I keep trying to climb it before it's ready. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah. Right. Griff, you're, you're, you say you... I'll just I'm test just this ready. bit. I'm ready. I'll, I'll, I'll test this bit. bit. I'll test off this bit. No, I'm upstairs. Yeah, you, you manage to, you manage to build a, a, a ladder that is serviceable. It's a bit rickety, but it will get you up to the, to the level required. Despite their vaguely kind of respectful reverence they are kind of giving me looks of but we just finished that yeah yeah no <laughs> they are they are they're, they're, it's almost like you can see a couple of them start to congregate and confer like, and, we stop that and hover that? <laughs> they are sort of hovering watching what you're doing going we should probably stop this but it's alright I found the thing downstairs we'll bring it for you keep passing stuff <laughs> okay they're, they're, they're sort of a couple of them sort of settle into work that is quite obviously keeping an eye on you and an eye on the, the gap you've left next to the hole. Don't, to don't sure no fall down, down there. There's no railing anymore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, they um they sort of just they sort of nod and sort of make the sign of the Aquila at you and just sort of stay out of your way. Something that she has learned is if you just state the obvious, people just kind of don't. <laughs> These ones, they, they they seem to be quite in awe of you guys. Even if whatever you do, it seems to be even if it's completely oh, weird a, and wonderful. This is a great game. Just what say the emperor did. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, so get once, some engine oil and pour it all over the floor. Once the ladder's ready, I will start climbing. Fair enough. Are you trying to fit in the hole up there? Do you have climb at this point? Because it's a bit rickety. It's a basic skill. Yep. You can attempt a climb roll then. Like it is at minus ten because this thing is a little bit rickety. I actually pass. I rolled sixteen. Fair enough. In which case, you can scramble to the top of it without falling off it, falling through it, or breaking an important bit off it. <laughs> I failed by four degrees. That's fine. You're just standing at the bottom. <laughs> uh, you 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 put your foot on the what looks like a nice stable shatters. run <laughs> and go crunch. Well, you'll have to do it on your own now. <laughs> 
I've broken the ladder. No, no, you've just broken a bit of it. Oh, Wrong. I've broken a bit of the ladder. Yeah. I'm just... Because I want to basically try and look, look at the void. Yeah. You get up there and you <laughs> can kind of... Stares back at you. you can well, kind he's of, gone, set up the demo charge on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of move... I can still hear you. No, you can't. Move, you, when Speaking you feel the... Beep, boop, you sort of move... Beep, the, you have to move what remains of the thing aside. And you can feel the weave is not... like normal material at all. Um, give me an easy test on Imperium or War. Okay. Or something similar. Uh, well, I've, it's I've got Imperium, parachute. War, Ecclesiarchy, Administratum, Arbites and Underworld. Uh, war. Yeah, one of those. Or Imperium. Uh, 25. So, what was it, plus 20? Plus 30. Plus 30, four degrees of success then. You recognise what this material is, and the fact that it is this damaged is quite surprising to you. This is a... Is it like Kevlar? Effectively, yeah. Or Imperial this... Kevlar. Yeah, what I this is effectively a... This is a metal mesh Oh, like the banner. stuff you'd make Xeno mesh armour, or uh, mesh armour out of. No, well, part yes, but this is the sort of stuff that they were that is often used for things like Titans war banners, where it's expected to get shot at, mm-hmm. but they still hope that the banner might stay there for some time. This stuff is designed to be Modern. insanely hard wearing, very, very hard wearing. Okay, yeah. I will basically describe what I've just what I found out. Filaments of metal woven into it. Yeah. So you're getting it down. I told mm. them yeah, to bring like it to them. Yeah, uh, I I cool. don't think I could lift this thing because it's it's massive, isn't it? Oh, I mean, it's. I mean, it's. It looks like it was. If it's if it's what's left at the top is its full width. It's a good twelve feet across, and probably yeah, that's gonna weigh a lot. And probably runs to. I that's mean, what's left six foot at the longest mm. corner. What's left of it, because mm. it's a long one, what's left of it, this thing, if it ran all the way to the floor, is running about 24 foot. Mm. What's left of it at its longest length is about... Oh, it's the same as half the of mail, it. basically. Yeah, so this so thing... a lot of Yeah, mail, this thing probably. weighs more than, like, canvas, so this is really heavy. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to get it down themselves. Um, yeah, I'm just... So, okay, after examining that, I'm like... Hmm. I will. You turn to the wall, and it looks like a couple of the blocks that have been used to repa- to fill this in have been have basically fallen away, have broken, and been damaged. You can see it's not that they've been cut out. You can see the remains of bits of stone and the mortar that was used to do it. But it seems that they something somehow they've been damaged and they've fallen away Outwards. backwards out of sight, which is why there's nothing at the foot of the wall. It's all gone in. Mm. And these two or three blocks, it's a space probably maybe two foot wide by 18 inches deep. Okay, so yeah, really not person size. <laughs> um, does it go all the way through? Can uh, I see the other side? You can side? feel an airflow coming towards you. It's quite cool, damp air, and there's um, there's a sort of it's a, there's a slightly sort of minerally smell to it. Can I shine a um, whatever you call them, lamp pack, a lamp pack torch, something? Yeah, like I've that, basically though. got like a yeah torch, but I can't remember yeah, what the term can... is. <laughs> yeah, you shine that through. Luminator. Luminator, that's the bunny. You shine it through and you can see sort of worked stone. You can see sort of the edges of the... You sort of, you've got a reasonable view. You can see the edges of the tunnel sort of dropping away. You can see the roof, which seems to continue unbroken for as far as your light can travel. Um, and beyond that, you can you just sort of illuminate the darkness inside... And you can see the sort of edges of stone, but beyond that, there's no light source coming back at you. Okay, so it it's not like if we kind of made this a bit wider, we could get in. 
Mm. If you if you knocked a few stones out, you could get through it. Then you got a twenty. But you've got down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's literally just a sheer wall. Mm-hmm. Okay. Again, I will be reporting my findings, man. <laughs> So I will have relayed that in Arbite speech. Arbite speech. <laughs> Something official sounding I more than it's... oh, it's a bit stony and you know. Can you give me a hearing based perception test, please? Minus hundred. I'm gonna take point. Is that base your fake points gone? No, I've got three eight. Um. So sorry, minus what? Minus ten. Uh, pass by a degree. You... Yeah, as no, your, pass as by your, two degrees. As you're shining three, your light across the... Two. Across the level, you hear, a, you hear a sound, which you're fairly sure is coming from within that tunnel. It sounds like a... It sounds like um, the sound of movement, but it's definitely like... Um, Creaturey rather than Claw- it's like that that <laughs> sound of almost. I mean, it could be like rodent claws on stone, like a dog on laminate. I suppose it's probably hard to tell in these in this environment. Mm. Or a crowd of women in high heels. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost definitely the perpetrator. <laughs> could be. <laughs> yeah, there's a catwalk on the other side. <laughs> okay. um... Again, I will quietly relay that. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Obviously, you can't really see down that much. But there's definitely a, that sound coming. Okay. Um, yeah, I will kind of climb back down. Fair enough. As you as you as you start to climb down, you you hear this sound. It's getting loud. You definitely hear oh, okay. it. Okay. If I, if I'm still if it's changing, I will stand and yeah, I will stay it's definitely there changing. It's getting louder, and then you start to hear an echo of it. <laughs> you can't see anything, but this sound is definitely. It's definitely. It's, it's sounding a little bit more like a scratching skitter now. Uh-oh. So I think it's something quite small. Probably, yeah. Or it's climbing. Something that's under two foot wide and eighteen inches. Illuminate <laughs> <laughs> um, through it. Itself. Drawing hand cannon. <laughs> At the bottom of the wall, does any of this mortarwork seem like dry, dusty, loose? Yeah, it seems uh... fairly solid. Okay. It definitely, I mean, it's old and it's mm-hmm. starting to, you're seeing it starting to crumble, but it seems like, it. There's, you can see the odd patch that might have been repaired over time. Alternatively. But it, it's quite old repairs. Where this goes underneath, is there a corresponding upstairs? Uh, it's sort in the of, kind of existing temple still. It would basically follow the the sort of line of the temple. So would it be kind of under the main hall or one of the wings? Or this would it... be heading from the ma- main hall mm-hmm. along the le- the rest of the length of the main hall mm-hmm. under the the wing and then off. Right. Okay. Because that's what it sort of does. That's so what it does on the other worth side. Worth investigating those so parts. There the might temple. be another end, way down. Mm. Well. Where you, Lex, where you are, there's, there's this sort of skittish... This, this sound is getting louder and louder. And suddenly, into the, the, the space, there is effectively a pair or a, a pair of sort of... Mirrored eyes. <laughs> basically, like, paw-type... Oh, excellent. ...like ha- things sort of come over the top with quite sharp claws on them, sort of grab onto the edge of the thing... And from in, from inside, something launches itself straight at your face. Face hugger. <laughs> yeah, I will pull the trigger if something launches at my face. Fair enough. Top of a rickety ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I believe. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. I've got recoil gloves to absorb it. It's That's a the point. very e- 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 this thing is is flying straight at you, and you got your pistol out, so it's a very easy shot. So you can have you can have plus thirty. Excellent. Um, I hit it in the 26. Doesn't really matter with this. You, you hit it. What's the damage? Uh, yes. Um, eight. Pen two. There is a... 
squelch and a sort of high-pitched <laughs> sound, and this thing thumps into you. And it's about... Mm, yay? By sort of yay? Sort of yay? Okay. It's... A dire rat. A it, it, it could be. It is quite long. Uh, long, sharp claws. Um, what appear to be a glance, uh, more than t- sort of two sets of legs, um, and a very, very, and a long, very long uh, muzzle with very, very sharp teeth in it. And uh, as far as you can tell, no eyes. Ooh, it's a giant mole. Just blank. Um. This thumps into your chest. Please give me an agility test. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, no. I fail by a degree. Fail by a degree. It, it, this, it's dead, but it, this, it's quite a weighty thing. And it was charging. And it was jumping at you at yeah. full pelt. So it's thumped into your chest and you, you start to sort of... Because you've obviously got one hand on a torch and one yeah. hand with your pistol... You start to lean backwards as it sort of knocks you back, and you start to feel yourself okay, begin to can, fall. Can I? Um, who was st- who was bracing the ladder? Oh. These two. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll just out. Cat, drop the torch and grab the ledge. Fair enough. Give me another agility test. Oh, I caught the torch. Good nice. job. Uh, I passed the second agility test. You passed the agility test. That's probably a good thing. You managed to get a hand to the what? to to the edge, of it, but you are now sort of hanging backwards with your like a gr- a rough grip on the a st- grip on the rough stone. pistol, other hand. <laughs> I'm gonna catch the corpse of the monster. I caught that. Oh, with your face. No, I didn't. I didn't <laughs> catch the monster. It, it <laughs> drops, and you, you sort of try to. You see this this other thing dropping. You try to catch it, but it's sort I of. Catch it with my foot. That's going to work. It sort of it Keep sort of upping. thumps onto you, and it sort of splashes you with this oh, sort of nice. with this sort of um, this very deep red sort of blood sort of splashes all splashes down you. Lovely. And this thing stinks as it, and it just sort of slides down. It's quite wet. Oh, grab it if it's still on me and go. It, it sort of. What's this? <laughs> it's sort of fur. It's sort of very short furred, and it sort of hits, and it sort of then it's very damp, and it just sort of starts to slide down you, leaving this trail of red. What's this? Dead. <laughs> How many legs? Six. Uh, eight. Eight. Oh. Must be local. It's an octo ferret. <laughs> an octo ferret. Well, an o- no, octomole. <laughs> bl- oh, because it's blind. Yes. I'll just throw it away. Local vermin. Fair enough. There's a thump as it hits. It's quite obviously quite dense, weighty. a weighty thing. Is it? <laughs> is there any more up there? <laughs> um, you might need to pass me that. Illuminator. Oh, we can't pass. It's twenty-four feet up. Skitter, 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 skitter. Are there any more of them? Yes. <laughs> Catch the uh, fucking torch. Well, you. I'm just. Uh, I just let my it. hand down. You threw it. Yeah. We're quite a far way down. Oh, God, that would have been embarrassing. Yeah. No, I caught it. Yes. It was a good day. So. You, you you click the torch on. And sort of twenty to reveal <laughs> <laughs> to reveal. The sort of head of another one of these things push sort of coming through, and you can see that this one is hanging by what are quite obviously like dew claws mm-hmm. to the rough roof of the ceiling, and you can see other you can see like More other coming. bodies, and they're starting to push. Basically, they're trying to push their way through, and there's definitely you can see at least three or four heads as they're all basically trying to push their way through this gap. I will. Kind They're of. all sort of. There's a weird, this sort of weird whining, barking sound, and you can definitely see none of them. It's not they don't. They've got covered over eyes. They just don't have. They them. just don't. But they do seem to have quite elongated muzzles and seem to have quite sort of quite large noses. Yeah, I'll quickly get down and go. Yeah, there's more coming. At this point, it's sort of um, as you sort of control jump drop. You start to drop. There, one of them sort of lunges forward and tries to bite at your hands. Oh no! 
which it fails to do. It, it sort of snaps a few inches from your hand as you drop down. Thanks. That's the build quality of the ladder. I, I, this is... I was just kind of like, how high up am I? Um, how, how high up are my feet? Are your feet like, what, above the ground? 20? Probably about 19 feet. Oh, okay, yeah, then I'm very quickly running down the ladder, not jumping. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could survive. I believe. This is... We got bionic legs. Based on the fact that, based on the fact that your head to look through it, your head must have been at least twenty-four feet off the ground. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. You could catch him, right? Or I reckon I could catch him. I reckon mm-hmm. we could catch him. <laughs> well, you start we to scramble down, down the ladder. The ladder. <laughs> as, these, as a couple of the bodies of these things worm their way through yeah, and start to jumping distance. One or point. two. One starts to sort of. Climb down after Gets a after Lex, the face. <laughs> and the others start. The other bodies start to climb through, and they seem to be sort of climbing down the walls and across the ceiling. At this point, you can see eight of them as they as more heads start to come through, and they start to sort of climb, almost climb over each other. <laughs> oh, there is a climber. <laughs> you won't burn the banner. So, um, no, he won't. No, he really won't. <laughs> so. The first of the this the, the ones following Roger down, the others. Would you like to roll initiative? Yeah, hey. I got a uh, nine. So can everyone remember how this works? Just roll, roll d10. 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 The first digit of your agility. Ten. Oh, nice. So nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, eleven. Eleven. Five. Five. <laughs> okay. So maybe don't rely on the flavour. So starting then with. Galva. Shotgun. Heads. Hole. Bang. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> bang. It's like, hmm, that was a thing. Go ahead. Probably more of them. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Crack. Excellent. So, shotgun. I need to roll to you hit first. Mm-hmm. Which, well, it's in the vague kind of area. Did you hit? I hit, I hit the wall. Oh, good job. <laughs> <laughs> Scatter yeah. across. Well, it is. It's a scatter weapon. It's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, next would be me on eleven. I think eleven. Oh, you got all oh, right. Yeah, eleven. Um, am I still on the ladder? Yes. Yeah, my um, I'm not. I don't want to be on the ladder. <laughs> you're going to scramble <laughs> down the ladder. I'm scrambling down the ladder. You're about. You're now probably about seven or eight foot off the ground. Jump. Next would be. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna quickly. Um, just rock to these guys or shout to these guys actually we're, we're literally like about um, five feet away from you <laughs> yeah apart uh, from yeah, me yeah. I'm slightly further um, just going to quickly shout to yeah, these guys just bra- brace, you, brace yourselves and then I'm going to just uh, try and oh. disorientate all these oh, things with the, with the feedback screen oh, okay <laughs> so I can scare them off I put my fingers in my head oh no I'm wearing a helmet <laughs> um, yeah I'm not you got audio dampers you got a helmet uh, yeah yeah <laughs> audio dampeners on <laughs> <laughs> yeah Time for us to go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, what, you uh, you're wearing your helmet now. Uh, feedback screen is yes, uh, yeah, techies test, I believe. I never put a helmet on. Though. Oh, you've got light like helmet. Yes, yeah. passed by two degrees. Right, so it doesn't come right. <laughs> mm-hmm. it sounded right. like that. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a modem. Sorry. It really does. It sounds like a really, really, really loud and badly tuned modem. <laughs> The sh- you screech, it, you screech out, and um, yeah, everyone in the vicinity needs to take. That really pisses them off, and they all target assessed. you because they're blind, so they probably have uh, to. That's fine. They can target me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> toughness. It is yeah. a toughness test. Yeah, I'm fairly sure it's a toughness test. Do we get anything for the helmet? You, anyone who's got the helmet, well, anyone who's been warned, gets, I believe, a plus ten. Oh, I passed that. Anyone who has on. got. Anyone who's got a helmet on with audio dampers, I think they gave you another plus 20. So I plus well, I'm giving you a plus 20 because you've got a helmet on. By two degrees. A plus. <laughs> using a fate point. Well, I failed by two degrees. Is it going to knock me unconscious? If I... It um, stuns you for like... No, it stuns you for D... Is it D5 rounds? D5 oh, rounds. Points. Fate. Yeah. Did you pass? Yeah. Nice. I only have one of eight point. Yeah, there's. A... <laughs> but you don't need ears, right? As you as you unleash the screech, these the creatures just sort of lock up, and all of them stop <laughs> moving. <laughs> <laughs> all all of them stop moving, 
and sort of underneath the screech, they, there's this this horrible whining sound that you can just about hear under the feedback screech. <laughs> it's me. Which is this, <laughs> <laughs> which isn't you guys as well. It's this, this keening sound that seems to be coming from these creatures. Um, and they, they literally just sort of lock up in whatever position they are and stop moving. Oh. Cool. That was super effective. That was very good. <laughs> Ten points to you. <laughs> Griff. It's Roger first. Uh, no, I've no, never been. been. Oh, I'll shoot one. I'll aim at one and shoot it. Uh, I hit. Because uh, uh, is it plus ten for aiming? Or? They're now. You've got. Have you got any sights or anything? That you need I to have sight, with? which is plus ten. Yeah, so I normally hit on forty nines. I okay. rolled a fifty-four. Okay, yeah, it's plus ten if you aim and fire on. Yeah, did aim. So, so you got a plus ten for that. So I hit. And they, these things are completely locked up, so they're not dodging. Uh, seven pen three. To the 54. There's a, so obviously body. the crack and flash of your light, light of your hell gun. Yeah. A sort of dark, dark crimson light nice. from your hell gun. And it, it just, you hit, you hit your target and it, there's this sort of, this keening sound is still going. Uh, but it, and, but you see this one sort of, there's a sort of shiver goes through it and it sort of drops away from the wall and you hear a, Splat sound as it hits the floor. <laughs> cool. Now the flamer. <laughs> Is the ladder made out of metal? Uh, no, these were wooden barricades. Is the ladder fallen down or is it still there? No, it's there? still there. But currently Lex is still stood on it. Hmm. That's a risk <laughs> you're willing to take. Jump, he's Lex, jump, he's jumping idiot. distance now, isn't he? Yeah. He's about he's basically he's his own body. Oh, it would be if I had an action. I guess. Just over yeah, his own body. But do we height. still want to be able to use the ladder? We can always build another one. That's also, to be fair, when, when you anyway. set fire to something, it doesn't immediately go, it's gone. No, but well, I'm mean, not climbing it might be quite ladder. difficult to put it out. <laughs> I I think no, I'm, going, I'm climbing down. Heavy. Yeah, I'm not worried about. I'm worried about using the ladder later. Not oh, we're not <laughs> using that again if you burn it. Yeah, yeah, we just climbed the banner. We've established the banner pretty highly. <laughs> oh, that's fine then. Oh yeah. Um, no, if you give me like, a boost, a boost yeah. like, a, like a ten foot boost. Yeah. I can't remember no. exactly how the flamer works. I think um, you six foot tall. No, like you don't. Your... I don't. Oh, yeah. With a flamer, you <laughs> don't roll <laughs> to hit. They roll to dodge. dodge. Yeah. yeah, they have no dodge. Because they are all locked so you up. Just roll for them some damage. <laughs> yeah, just roll some damage. Roll it for all of them, or do you roll it? Just individually? do it once. Do it once, and we'll see how many. And do it once, and I'll see how many of them you hit. <laughs> are you sure you only want me to do it once? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I rolled a one, so I got five damage. <laughs> it's tr- trying too hard to avoid him. <laughs> you you do have a wash the wall and hit all of them, mm. so they all they all do it. And now let's see. Even the one on the ladder. <laughs> yeah. High enough up. Um, yeah. They're all caught fire. Mm. All of them. But they're not dead, so they're even more dangerous. No. But they're still... <laughs> they're currently locked up. Well, that's the thing. They've all <laughs> they now caught fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> They've now caught fire. Most creatures react to that. Uh, and this yeah. does seem to sort of br- the keening sort of breaks, and a different sound, and yeah. it's much more of a sort of high pitched chittering whine, and these things suddenly go whoom, in all directions on fire, flaming octomiles everywhere. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, they're now moving. Yeah, they're oh, now they're moving. moving. They're it's basically okay. they're now the, some of them. <laughs> that's the thing. At this point. You wash over the thing, and all the ones that are on the walls and thing have ca- all caught fire, and they've all started basically running away along the walls or down the walls to get away from the centre of the fire. Unfortunately, as the wash ends, you see m- a few more start to try and climb through. Oh, I think we've got to just go, haven't we? <laughs> but they, they seem to stop when it becomes obvious the top of the ladder is starting to smoulder, mm-hmm. and they sort of... You see the, there's like three or four of them filling the space, looking down, sort of... Can't say looking down, but sort of sticking wind. out of the thing. But they don't seem to be willing to go onto or around the ladder area where it's flamed and sooty and there's sort of little oh. bits of fire starting and the stones warm. Yeah, that's when the shotgun hits them. So, flaming oh, 
flaming things everywhere. Galva. Uh, yeah, feedback screech happened. Do I roll that, that or does he roll that? Because oh, that's some rounds. Are you stunned? Oh, you're stunned. Yeah, yeah it got me. Oh, again? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah, no, you, you roll it. Roll it, Mark, see what you get. What have I got to basically roll down? Oh, roll, roll a d10 yes. and halve it. Yeah. D10 and halve it. Oh, st- 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 oh I've got, what if I get an odd number? Round it down to the nearest. It stays what did you roll? Number. Oh, five. Uh, so three rounds. Yeah. Yep. So you're stunned for yeah. three rounds. It basically yep. goes one, two is one, three, four is two, four, uh, five, five six. six is three, seven, eight is four, oh, nine, I ten see. is right. five. Okay. Ruggiero? So um, yep. I'm getting off the ladder. <laughs> Do you yep. want us to catch you? Are you scrambling down it or jumping? How close to me is the fire? <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's right at the top. I'm just going to scramble down. Scramble down. That's fine. You get off the, the, the bottom of the ladder. And then I pull my gun because I've got quick draw. With a little, with a certain just gentle heat flare across sort of the one side where the flame has obviously been sort of past you. The flame burst has passed you. <laughs> Oh, you looked a bit chilly up there. Fuck. Oh, me? Yeah. Uh, oh, so the things are just running around on fire They now seem to be running in all directions. Yeah, there are some fresh ones. Squeaking madly. So are the, fr- the fresh ones, are they... they they're they stuck it. They're all are in... They, are they kind of like holding back? Yeah. Okay. Shoot them in the face. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to work on the assumption that the ones that are on fire are going to die. So I'm going to just... Try and take out those ones at the top. Okay. But so you're gonna take a sh- you're gonna take a shot at the one. Shot, yeah. Okay. Um. I can't remember how. Oh, weapon skill. Ballistic Twin. skill. Oh, ballistic skill. skill. Yeah, I failed miserably. <laughs> oh, no, that was you rough. draw your weapon and you, you sort of try to. He's probably got the afterglow of the flamer still, <laughs> screwing yeah, yeah, yeah. with your targeting. Oh no, Griff. Uh, I'll switch to semi-automatic and shoot. <laughs> okay, uh, the the gap or uh, uh, yeah, the, the pressure wall. one's going through. Okay. Uh, the first shot hit. Okay. Um, what did you roll? Because it you don't 46. roll. Per, you don't roll per shot. You roll, and then for every two degrees you get an extra hit. I did not roll any degrees. And you get plus ten. Uh, so yeah, a one degree. So, so one hit. One hit. One hit. One opportunity hit one to do everything you ever wanted. Yep. I rolled a one. Uh, so that is only five pen three. Pew! There's a squeak. Squeak? Yeah. There's a sort of... Shoot off some whiskers. Yeah, and <laughs> you, you're fairly sure you see movement which suggests the sort of gap as... They're, they're not... One of them has sort of dropped back mm. where you've hit something. Cool. That's me done. Should throw a grenade, really. Gaius. Oh. Um, I'm just going to try and stamp on one of the flaming rats. <laughs> so you're going to hope... Is there one of the ones that's just scuffled down onto the floor? I'm going to yeah. try and flame there's, it. A, there's about two on the floor that have reached oh, the ground maybe. level. You're basically going to try and physically attack one. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Stamp. <laughs> yep. Fine. Weapon skill test. Curb stomp. I hit. 23. Dodges you. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you, as you as you go to move towards it, it sort of scuffles off in scuttles off back slightly up the wall. Why am I kind of Im- imagining the Benny Hill music in the background? <laughs> Guys running around trying to, to be honest, on a stamp on flaming octomom. I'm almost yeah, glad that Guys missed because he's wearing robes and that's on fire. <laughs> Wouldn't oh, be yeah. the first time I've set my robes on fire. Or <laughs> the believe. last. <laughs> He says proudly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make a name. A of couple myself. of them are now sort of just running in circles randomly. <laughs> that flaming However, person. a couple of the others that have basically decided this is. They don't like this. <laughs> One launches itself off the wall, <laughs> sort of, and basically does a turn in mid air, sort of flips itself over as it comes off the wall, and comes straight at Gaius and goes straight over his shoulder on fire. And lands on the floor, beh- lands sort of cat-like on the floor behind him. Stop, drop, and roll. Um, another one, the one that was on the thing, comes scrambling down at Lex, and when it gets to a level, launches itself at him as, as well. However, um, as it lo- tries to launch itself, 
there's a f- the the movement has caused a flare in its f- the flyer on its fur, and it sort of fumbles the combusts. jump <laughs> as it combusts a bit more, and its fur catches greater fire, and it sort of hits the floor in front of Lex and sort of lands badly and sort of lays there, sort of rolling around in pain and on fire. I'm not sure that's necessary. One from higher up launches itself and lands right on Galva's shoulders. Who's doing nothing. Because <laughs> <laughs> standing really still going, oh, fuck's sake. And basically lands <laughs> one square on, on your... Basically, it's once on fire, lands square on your shoulders and tries to sink its teeth into your arm. Oh, my God. If it's on fire, does that mean that I kind of snap out of whatever the feedback speech was pausing me for what three rounds? Depends if you catch fire. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Um, well, or sure if it what... bites me. Yeah, it's bitten you. Okay. So I presumably don't dodge because it's on me. Yes, and you're, and, stunned. And you're stunned. So I just soak it. What's yeah, well, the damage? the damage is... Where is it biting me on my arm? Your arm. Cool. Um, you've taken... Two. Sixteen. What's it? Twelve. That's number one. Just random numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you take um, three damage. Nope. Oh, good job. Pen one. Nope. Oh, good job. <laughs> and it's primitive. Oh. So it doubles arm. <laughs> yeah, because it's natural. So it doubles your armour. Cool. So nothing, basically. I shall call him Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> he lives here now. Uh, can oh, you take, we can tame them. Can you, no, everyone each. Not. Can you take a willpower test to snap out of it from the feedback screech? No. Nope. nope, okay. Uh, in which case, you automatically <laughs> catch fire. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You two, this two others, fault. also <laughs> jump off the wall at you. Both of them straight at your faces and go to basically claws extended on the front, like two sets of legs and the mouth open to go hunk. Well, I didn't dodge, so. So it's hit you. It's hit you. Well, I've got to see if. Well, yeah, they, yeah, they did land straight on you. So you failed to dodge, Griff. So do you have agility. The, you yeah. need the dodge skill. You need the dodge skill. But it's basic. It is, which means so, it's at half if you don't have the skill. Oh, what? Out. Yeah, I basic skills, you. you can always test Come them. Come on, you can do half this. unless you're trained. Oh, yes! We <laughs> did it! We did it! He listed lazily to the... Oh, yes! yes. <laughs> you, you, ca- you, you see this and you can't yeah. the trajectory. <laughs> and you, you can't do like a, like a Neo in the Matrix. Yeah. Or the you, flaming Octomole. Just you don't even face. need to do that. You, you calculate his trajectory. Right, you can. I rolled a three, I think I should. You should be able to. Yeah. <laughs> one of your mech endrites just... Come flick straight out and just bats it aside. Oh, nice! <laughs> just bats it out of the way and it, it it's like a fly. Just, just deflects it and it goes flying off. And you hear a sort I of. I deflect it and it lands on Galva. No, there's, there's a sort of, <laughs> of thump and a, an angry squeak as it hits the floor. How much damage do I take, lad? Uh, well, you've got a helmet on, haven't you? So I you're armoured. So I'm soaking 12. It's the fire I think you need to worry more about. I'm on fire, but I can't. We set Morgan on fire yet. Give it till season three. eight damage. It's pen one, but it's also primitive. I soak it then. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, this thing's sort of scrabbling at your faceplate, trying to get through it. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it is. So that would make it Galva. Who's one. stunned? Who's stunned? You are, however, on fire, so I'm going to give you a willpower check to snap Yay. out of it. Standard willpower check to snap No. Nope. Fate. Use fate, Sam. Come on. Sure, I will use my one fate point... <laughs> to not die. ...to try and, like, be I... realising that I'm on fire. I believe in you. I did! Yes! <laughs> you snap oh, out shit, of it! I'm on fire! Yeah. Plus there's a rat on your <laughs> shoulder. Fire hot! <laughs> um, Lex. Don't worry, Arbite will help. Um, so has she still got the flaming thing on her? It's still on there. It's sort of, it's sort of. You can't feel it. But basically, claws have gone into the armor, like your armor so across your shoulders. So feedback screech has gone off. I run, <laughs> ah, and then I may have noticed, or apparently not, a weight land on um, my shoulders, and then it's getting warm. 
Please I'm... don't stab me! Yeah, it's not technically... Face. No, I'm shock banding the thing, and I hit it very successfully. Um... Yes, you do very successfully hit it. For... Do we use one of these? Um, four plus three, seven, and it's shocking. <laughs> it's fine. You you bring the baton down, and there's an, there's an electrical discharge, and there's a sort of slightly sorry-sounding squeak. Right. Pretty much. <laughs> and... Uh, but in the process of doing it, you have basically cracked. You you feel the spine. It, it's kind of a yeah. But the jab, you feel the jab sort of crush the rib cage, Ooh. and it and the electric jolt goes through it, and it sort of electrical Does the discharge. The electric jolt, jolt also go through me. No, <laughs> because you know I've been set on fire, and I, I've been. I was, like, to be fair, stunned. I was very careful. I did roll very well. <laughs> yeah, you he hit he hit it. Cool. Uh, the discharge has gone through it. Yep. Um, it ha- it won't pass onto you Burst enough to make it spasm and drop off. Yeah, it does drop away from you. Bug. Yeah, uh, I'm going to try and put the fire out <laughs> of, <laughs> of, of, of Galva. <laughs> you got a little He's fire. He's got thing. a fire extinguisher. <laughs> and got, and yeah, I have. Like, oh, yeah, no, just when I've been robed and stuff. Can I just kind of use them to pat it down? Yeah. yeah, yeah, you could. You could effectively survival. Um, no. Agility. Start with an agility test not to set yourself on fire. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, no. Come on, you shouldn't be this. too much of a problem from yeah, the amount of armour you've got on. It's got 27. That's a 90. 90. Oh. You have three fate points. Helping. <gasps> yes. Yes. Now will be a really good time yes. to have you. I believe in you. Come on. Because this is Prometheum, so it's designed to spin. Oh, no. <laughs> Right, you set your own robes on fire. <laughs> you can now attempt an agility test. To put myself out? To put you no, you've taken the agility test to see if you have managed to put Galva out in the process. Oh, we just move the fire. Yeah, <laughs> the fire has moved. Pass the fire. Fire is hot. Nope. No. No. no we're both on fire. Now you're both on fire. It's <laughs> going well. I'm going to stab the thing on my face. I'm not stab sure. I'm not sure if I blame Bug or Gaius more right now. <laughs> we're team players. <laughs> so first Sharing one is love. I'm not joining you in Hits. fiery death. Yeah. <laughs> Does. Ooh, four, da- four plus three is seven. seven. Seven damage, no pain. You, so you basically just grab this thing. <laughs> yeah, com- combat blade straight into it. Yeah. You feel it sort. You feel the sort of various bits break and various things pop inside you have a kebab. it. Yep. And it goes limp in your hand, and you sort of chuck it away from yourself. Um, you can have an agility test at plus twenty, not. To, for nothing to catch fire. I caught fire. Congratulations, <laughs> you're on fire. God damn it, guys! I used my fake point as well. <laughs> you're still on fire. I caught fire. Congratulations. <laughs> oh no, plus 20. It was a plus 20, yeah. I failed by exactly five. So you're I'm still on fire. on fire. Congratulations, this half of the table is on fire. <laughs> you call these guys Team Fire. <laughs> guys, what are you going to do? I'm marvellous how epic we all look. <laughs> As we blaze. Right. <laughs> is this the point? Fighting in fire. Um, this is not what they meant. When they when they talk about the blazing light of the Emperor, this is not entirely what is meant. Well, it is, but not on his own servants. I'm on fire. Yes, I dance. Get my auto quill to draw a portrait of us all. <laughs> um, <laughs> just flame something, guys. <laughs> just flame no, you two. Want me to carry on with the flame? Yeah, <laughs> come on. <laughs> No, I don't have to roll to hit. Though. No, you yeah, yeah, a dodge test for them. Dodge test for them. Agility test, yeah. I feel like I should be rolling just to not... There's a talent which you can up, get which but... gives them a penalty. Huh. Cleanse and of the, of, it looks like definitely there's fire and squeaking up above. So some uh, definitely a couple of... Something's on fire. Something's on fire. It looks like it's... Looks like they're all on fire, but it's difficult to tell. But it does look like these ones sort of wriggle backwards and drop out of sight. Okay. R O U S S. One sec. I'm inclined to believe they exist. Right. Of the ones that, of the about six that are left, um, four of them basically 
Burst. Well, no, four of them sort of expire, expire from the from the heat and the flames, and sort of drops, sort of still burning to the floor. So you get these sort of whistling, burning thumps start, <laughs> as they start falling off the floor and the ceiling, or expire on the floor. There are, however, um, two left that survived. And are they going to set those two on fire? Well, the th- <laughs> there are two of us, two of them, and they're on All fire. fire for everybody. All three of you are on fire. <laughs> Please take damage for being on fire. How much okay. damage do you it's take? It's D10 ignoring armour. Cool. Oh, Give I me think. a D10 ignoring armour, please. Who's uh, running it? Are we running it? It's still be your toughness, right? Uh, Lawrence, roll a D10. I don't think so. I think it ignores soak. Four. Four. So for everyone? It's quite vicious. Yeah, fire's nasty. And I soak three of them. Uh, of I don't think you do. Uh, I think no, you don't. You might not get armor. I think you get toughness. I think you think in Woofrup. I think in Heresy ah. is freaking savage. It's where we firebomb everything in the other one. Fair point. Okay, I lose four wounds. I'm on ten. Uh, we all lose four wounds. Oh right, uh, my toughness is three. So. Yeah, it doesn't matter apparently. Oh, I thought you so just. I don't count. think it counts. Uh, oh, I thought it. Did. Oh, we were taking the same. Yeah. Cool. Did I did I hear my wounds from earlier? Uh, mm-hmm. No, I didn't. Did I? Uh, who? We didn't auto heal though. You, you, oh no, he didn't because he wasn't chilling. Didn't realise he was hurt. Do they go up or down? Down. Down. So you're on five. No, you're on eleven. Take away four. Oh no, I was on nine. Yeah, <laughs> five. And Sam? Oh, I've done it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Is it my turn? Uh, Stop yeah. Stop being on fire. There's a puddle over there. <laughs> There is. I'm going to go lay in the puddle. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go roll in a puddle. Okay. Um, in which case, so move and jump into the puddle. Mm-hmm. Okay, agility test to put out the fire, you get a plus 20. Nope. 98. Oh, my God. And I can't re-roll it because I've spent my only fate point. 98. <laughs> Sam? Um, this missed, puddle was You missed the puddle. <laughs> no, that, that was obviously something... That, that was more than just that. That was something oily. Um, there is a burst of flame, uh, and you take an additional twenty-six cool. damage. As literally, you are now a engulfed. human en- engulfed. Uh, I am now. Thought. Yep. Mm. Excellent. Next okay. time we're in town, remind me to buy fire blankets as part of my yeah. kit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, Lax. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with shoot the things. <laughs> um, hold on. So the two that the ones that are still alive the are that's, the two that are still alive. Oh, you they mean, are, you mean out of us? They, the, two, <laughs> the two other creatures are still both on fire. They didn't put themselves out. They're still alive. One of them is skittering off into the along the wall, off into the distance on fire. So mm-hmm. you can see where it is. And the other one seems to be running back up towards the hole. Okay, I'm gonna. Uh, I guess Bug's probably the closest to me because I was standing over Galva, but mm. Galva's just fucked off and jumped into oil. So <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna upend my canteen over Bug. Okay. You sort out short out all his electrics. <laughs> <laughs> his heart I, I'm it. assuming he can take a bit of rain. He's, he's, he's you waterproof. Incorrectly. Yeah. <laughs> rain, my one weakness. <laughs> Explode. <laughs> yeah, just kind of. Yeah. Fair enough. Bug, you're next. You now get an agility test to put out the fire. Plus 20. Plus 20. Oh, do I need to be ag- ag- agile enough to receive water. Well, no, it's still an agility test to put out the fire properly. Oh, so you may have entered the canteen. Yeah, so yeah. You're on four. yeah, I'm basically <laughs> holding a canteen over you. No, no. 91. 91. <laughs> fate point. Yes. No, fate point. No, fate point. Fate point. No, no. <laughs> okay, now the the You're trail still light bug. The the water dampens down the top part of your robes. Unfortunately, the basically from your hips down is a light. Right. Okay. Let's watch the trained Imperial Guardsman put out the fire. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> Stop the forest. I am out. G I K D A. The boy you know. Closest to me of the two that are. Okay. Uh, it'll be him, Bug. 
I think Gal. Remember, KD. I'm over there the dying. Stop, drop, and roll. To be fair, Bugs got me pouring water over there. Yeah, Gal was gonna die. Thanks, Captain. I'm, I'm gonna run over the and you literally know. just <laughs> leap onto Gal. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be on fire. <laughs> too. You'll be on fire too, and you'll be in the puddle. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be bad. You're jumping into a puddle of burning I oil. Believe Remember, the emperor. knowing is half the battle. <laughs> Gee, yeah, KD. Right. <laughs> Don't Guys, I'm leaping in. So for with my next my character, <laughs> give me a minus thirty willpower test. Can do that. Yeah, yeah. Shake your faith. Andy, why did you change your character sheet? No, no, Roger's just giving me a new character sheet <laughs> for my next character. <laughs> hey, whoa! I was shot today. You're fine. That was yesterday. Now. Actually, yesterday. No, it was today. It was still this morning. This is still the same My plan is to smother the flame completely. Fine. On a 94. Smothered by fame. Right, well, okay. (laughs) So it's not completely insane, but it might involve... Both of you need to take agility tests. Come on, Sam. At minus 20. Come on, Sam. Wait, what? Minus 20. Minus 20 because the guy belly flopped onto you. She did it! Dead on! Dead <laughs> no, on! I still have one thing. I knew up 13. Let's see. Do you want to use that on a minus 20? <laughs> come on. Come on, Liam. Yeah, I have come faith on. in the Emperor. Nope, 97. Uh, <laughs> so I'm now drowning. You cast the fire on <laughs> <I'm out. laughs> you, you land on top. You complete this up. And Galva basically, you, 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 get, you get the wind taken out of you as Gaius lands on you. <laughs> <laughs> or someone does. Or someone, yeah. The, you, you, basically, it all goes dark, but the it does seem to... The, That's a good it, sign. It completely, it does actually, but you feel, after about five or six seconds, you feel the, the heat reduce as good. no oxygen seems That's to get through the now. thick robes. <laughs> Guys However, <laughs> Gaius, <laughs> who's next? The edges of your robes <laughs> catch light. Catch light oh, from the area, so... from this spreading pool of fire, from where Galva's been. It's set light to this sort of area. Well, Just the trading well, edge catches your robes. Now. <laughs> so who takes damage from the fire at the end? <laughs> Uh, Liam. Oh, Liam does at the moment because technically he is protected. Well. So and at this point, does. some of the guys what? from upstairs hear the commotion, come fire. down and just yeah. see us so all put it out. in our full resplendence. He rolled it. <laughs> oh yeah. Fair, they would have had gunfire. Yep. <laughs> this is fun. Screaming, squeaking. <laughs> oh, she knows this is fire at the moment. You take one. Oh, thank God. Uh, and guys, right, right. <laughs> you take three. As, right? the, as the as the you still as guys. the as the fire yeah, starts yeah. to lick up your robes Obviously. quite quickly, due to the fact that there's probably a certain amount of promethium sort of <laughs> fumes just <laughs> just Jenny soaking yeah. into soaking your robes. into it, <laughs> and also you've landed in something oily, which is also soaking into your robes. Mm. You are still carrying a flamer with a lit pilot light, and a few refills, and various oh, refills. For the field, at least, <laughs> it explodes whilst on top yeah. of you. <laughs> okay, who's next? <laughs> no, there's still one fire. There's still oh, a couple of things on fire. Still around. They set us on fire again. Both of them expire. You see one drop to the floor in the distance, and the other one sort of <laughs> cr- crawls up into the space at the top and sort of flops over it. And as it flops over it, it stops moving and just sort of. There's this horrible smell of burning yeah. hair. Yeah, there is. Burning Galva. <laughs> No, no, well, it's burning the, there's that priests, as well. But burning there's the soldiers, <laughs> burning But there's priests. a particular smell of burning fur hmm. that's starting to quite strongly permeate this this area, and there's a um, is a definite sort of cooking meat smell starting to spread. Lovely. <laughs> Which one of us is that? No, you that's, the, that's the creatures. Yes, yes. So Galva. So am I pinned? Yeah, you've got his weight on top of you, so it's gonna, and he's basically like just lying on top of you with gently soaking robes that are catching light. Um, if you want to chuck him off you, you can. Mm. Uh, strength test. Um, how much do you weigh? Mm, just out of interest. Not as much as him. Fourteen. Um, I'm only five foot ten. I'm stocky though. Okay, and so, fourteen stone. You're fairly strong, aren't you, Alva? 
Ish. Ish. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Right. Fair enough. Um, strength test. What is your strength? 32. 32. Okay, strength test to just chuck him off. To sort of basically roll him off you and get and sort of shove him out of the way. Nope, he's not going anywhere. So basically at this point, something has just landed. Like, and <laughs> and <laughs> Gaius is laying on you going, basically probably... Shouting about the emperor. Shouting about the emperor. <laughs> sort of with his head next to yours. <laughs> so I've been feedback screeched. <laughs> then I've like been screeched at by a random rodent thing. Then I've been and set bitten. on fire. And then... <laughs> I've just been pinned to the floor by a shouting, <laughs> flaming priest. Like, okay, uh, yeah, in a puddle of oil. I hate being underground. I feel like a wizard in Dungeons and Dragons has just cast fireball into the middle of the party. Yeah. <laughs> Roger. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to continue emptying my canteen onto Bug. Yeah. Oh. oh. So Bug, carry on. Another one. Plus thirty this time because you're already a bit wet. Oh. Plus thirty. Yeah. Oh, I've still failed. <laughs> You've got any more fate points? You've got one more fate point. Oh, yeah, all right. Remember, you can adjust I... down by ten if you were close. He wasn't close. Oh, okay. Mm-mm. I yeah. was, because I got... You're plus 30. Two. So 57-year-old. And I got six... I uh, rolled... What? I, was it? I thought you rolled 70. Oh, was it 70-something? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was 57. <sighs> I don't... I oh, no, that would have been a pass, then. Yeah, yeah. No, you're up press at 75. Uh, <laughs> I got a fate point, then. Nope. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. I'll go and grab um, Gaius. Gaius by the scruff of his neck and pull him off. And set yourself on fire. And set myself on fire. <laughs> Which I do. <laughs> Hold on, will you, do you successfully pull him off or you successfully catch fire? I'm on fire now. Right. Strength test to grab him and haul him off. No. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Isn't that the same spot I want to do? I'm doing the pile. <laughs> So I put my hand down and go, Oh, my gun's on fire! My gun's on fire, everyone! <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're all going to die in a We're going to die in comical, comical fashion. Oh, yeah. Dark! Grim dark, <laughs> everyone! Guys, it's his turn. I've used up everyone's fake points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, it's your My time. hand is on fire now. <laughs> I'm going to throw my flamer away. And then roll! Roll! roll. Roll! Stop, drop, and roll. Don't throw it into the puddle. Roll in your way. Agility and just roll away. Um, agility... Yeah, ag- actually, agility minus ten, because you've got to get off of Galva, <laughs> yeah. get out of the oil without making it any worse, and then put yourself out. <laughs> at this God, point... I believe. This just at this point... This is just the comedy act, isn't it? <laughs> this is the five students. Oh, oh. No! Um, I, I rolled exactly my agility... I don't have any fate points left. <laughs> so you failed. You manage to get off and you don't set anyone else alight. <laughs> you roll across the floor and most of the fire goes out. You are still technically alight, but you've managed to land yourself in an actual puddle of water and start dousing it. <laughs> so how much damage do we all take for real fire? <laughs> now it's at this point that a seven foot One. six hey. massive clawed beast comes down the tunnel and kills all of us. Because we're all in the chance of Oh, teamwork. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> if only it had gone that smoothly when we were setting each other on fire, right? I'm, I'm back on fire. I wasn't You're not on fire. I'm back on fire. No, I'm good. <laughs> You're out on I'm, I'm laying in a heap on the floor, but I'm not on fire. Well, give it to Galvin. Galvin, you're going. <laughs> I'm moving away from him. Gosh, do you want some fire? Saved your life. Oh, do you High five, five from my girl. He's going to be in danger, but then I saved you. But then I saved you. <laughs> I'm quite happy not currently being on fire. <laughs> you, you, you basically haul yourself out the puddle and get as far away from Gaius in the opposite direction as possible. Or anyone else. Canteen boy? got one as well you git I'm on fire <laughs> hang on hang on no I'm doing other stuff what are you doing that's no fun. yeah I'm, I'm yeah, away you're away um Lex yes. if my canteen's still got anything in it just trying to keep on me yeah, yeah. soaking oh. bug same again thanks ever so nope oh, God, <laughs> I just wonder about these diets 83 <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I think I'm yeah. going to have to try weighing on no, him more. No, my gloves are still on fire. Yeah. Okay. Guys, would you like to try and put yourself out? <laughs> yes, but I also want to prioritise getting my book up and make sure it's not well on fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your book. Fine. Yeah. Your book. So he's throwing his book away. I passed. 
um, by just a bit less than a degree. Not you, quite. You put yourself out, guys. <laughs> Damage <laughs> for the jump on them. Damage for the fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh no. It's happening. God, you guys are really lucky. A one. <gasps> yeah, they are. <laughs> I, I, I have literally I rolled this a one every thing. time for the last three rolls for the fire. Ah. <laughs> this is fun. Um, Galva. I'm pretty tempted just to kick the tech priest over. <laughs> <laughs> bro, um, monkey, bro. Okay, so having escaped from being on fire in a pool of oil um, and surveyed things a little bit more, yeah, he probably kind of needs a hand, so I might attempt to... Oh, I'm okay now. Yeah, yeah, but... you going to set yourself back on fire? No, no he's, he's gone out. Oh, he's right. going to go over and check yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. Am I the only one who's currently on fire? No, I'm on fire. You too. Oh, right, okay. I wasn't on fire. I tried to help him. But he I is now laying on, on, on the floor, so... <laughs> yeah, my like glove is on okay. fire. Right, okay. Okay. I'm running around going, oh, oh... <laughs> But someone put me out because I've only got one wound. Left. I'm trying. <laughs> it's a bit more damp so where I am. Come on. Hmm. I think mean, you need to do it. It's now. It's, it's, who's going? Do it? I actually I don't know. check him? Uh, you, you can check him out, yeah. Yeah, he's not dead. Okay. <laughs> Flex. Um, I'm probably out of water now, so I'm yeah. going to drop the canteen, swing off my uh, ballistic cloth circo, which is kind of like what that banner's made of, yeah. and just basically bundle it over the fire and try and pat it out. The fire goes out. Yeah! Oh, thank you. <laughs> and a ballistic cloth circo is highly unlikely probably. to catch fire. Oh, I'll also take the book. I away must my dirty deck! I am no longer a fire! You basically put oh, it, think about it, pull the glove off, put it, unclip the glove, just chuck it to the floor. No one's on fire anymore! Congratulations! Well done, everybody! I'm waiting for a flaming Brighton to come leaping out of the hole! That was fun, wasn't it? At this point, one of the priests from upstairs come down and see what is actually going on. He's got a flaming weapon. You're right down there. No! When he's carrying a flaming torch, we were yeah. <laughs> as 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 you you, you yeah. stamp out the flames, um, and it, you sort of it goes quiet, and you can't hear the sound of these creatures anymore. There's the, there's nothing really but the odd crackle of the burning ladder, the burning <laughs> no, well, yeah, the slight crackle. No, of the, burning ladder, the bloody ladder, <laughs> and there's the odd, there's still the odd sort of crackle and sort of puff of what is now effectively self roasting rodent thing. Uh, where the fire's sort of burning away fur and setting and starting to cook the flesh. Why don't you go pick one up? Apart from that, it's gone quiet, and you can't you can't hear the sounds of anything, sort of anymore. There's a there's a there's a bit of what looks like a glow through the gap, but that's about it. <laughs> um, and as you're there, you you start to hear the sound of running feet. And that's where we'll leave it for tonight. <laughs> Explain that one. <laughs> so, I hope you all enjoyed that one, guys. I have to say that possibly the most dangerous thing to this party is Gaius's flamer. <laughs> but, and my feedback screech. And Gaius's belly flops. We call this episode Stop, Drop, and Roll. I, I think so. Yes. I think so. I think the belly flop was entirely successful. I think it worked very well. It was about as good as it could have been. It could have been setting yourself on it fire. It could have been worse. Yeah. Yes. It could have been better. It could have been worse. Okay. So I hope everyone enjoyed that. I hope everyone watching <laughs> enjoyed the madness that was that the, the, that episode. Um. Just a quick reminder, of course. Uh, please, if you enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe. Have a look at the Girl Black Games uh, social media stuff. Get in contact. Let us know what you're enjoying. Uh, what you'd like to see. Please look out for Flint and Steel coming very and soon. coming very soon. And of course check out all the other Garblag shows and of course the back catalogue. If you haven't seen Flint and Steel before, go back, start watching from the <laughs> beginning because it will because it will help make sense. Apart Ish. from yeah. <laughs> apart from that, thank you guys. Thanks you to everyone who's sat through the madness and the fire and the flames. Insanity. And we'll see you all next time on the Edge of the Emperor's Light. And we play out to Dragonforce. Night all. <laughs>